95 kilos hang out. Amy Tower, good afternoon, number 299 Alpha. Number 299 Delta, Mommy Tower, go ahead. 299 Delta, request IFR clearance to Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, we are ready to copy and also we have information, Bravo. Number 229 Delta, Mommy Tower, clears you to Ma NASA by the skiff to departure, then a file, maintain 5000, expect flight level 260, then after departure, squad 2120. Roger that, uh, clear to Nassau, Bahamas, skip to departure, initial climb 5000, then final flight level 260, and squad 2120, number 299 Delta. General Delta, red back, right push on star, if, if required, is at your discretion, advisory tax, expect a left for departure. Roger that, uh, at discretion, and second runway, a left, uh, to Nenna Delta. So, the 253, ready for departure, oh, correction, so the 253, uh, hold short 8 right for now, hold short 8 right. Calling short, uh, 8 right, so the 253. United Day 628, continue taxi by November 9th ramp. Good night. Clear taxi. So the L253, continue taxi, cross 8 right at mic 1. Green taxi to uh, 08. Uh, is it possible to uh, departure 08 uh, right? Uh, okay, so the L253, runway 8 right wind 090 at 14, clear for takeoff. Proceed on course. Two for takeoff for the air to pass three zero eight right. And two five three proceed on course. Okay, I'm 19, Miami Tower, right? Apologies, Tower, scale. Let's start setting up, shall okay. we? Okay. Okay, I'm 6, 7, 19, I have one file, flight plans for uh, two San Martin, confirm with the other one. For which, Tegan? Uh, two San Martin, Tango on, on November, Charlie Mike. San Martin, correct, that's correct. Sixteen nineteen, you are clear to San Martin, skip to departure, skip to transition, then at file maintain five, expect file three ten zero within ten minutes. Quack two one two one twenty one twenty one.
Sky M6719, red black is correct, push and star is going to be at your discretion, expect runway, uh, uh, would you like 9 air or 8 the right? I prefer 8 right to Hey, from 6719, 19, 69, 19, advise right back to you, 8 right. So the air 253, uh, contact telecom, half of us, files here. We got this to the air 253. Number 195, Kilo Tango, contact telecom, half of us, files here. 195 kilo tango over the Unicom here, thank you. Be the please get on one way, don't you? I'm just holding for radio check, but not that. Don't you, thank you. Viva 301, request IFR clearance to Medlin from stand Juliet 18 with information Bravo, altimeter 30.12, type Airbus B20. I'm calling uh, your identification. Viva 301. Viva 301, Miami Tower. I really got it. Good evening everybody, or good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever time it is where you are. A very warm welcome to Philbert Flies and to another very exciting giveaway live stream. Uh, so, today we are flying Avianca Flight 031 down to Medellin, uh, Jose Maria Cordoba Airport, and I'm giving away two copies of the pilot's new scenery for this airport. Um, more about that later on once we have taken off. 
Uh, but for now, it's time to say hello to everybody, I think. Um, Tommy, welcome. You're, I'm, I'm very glad to be flying to Colombia. Surrender, departure. hello. Sasha, Randolph, um, Ian, who's just requesting his clearance now. Simon, hello. Jamie, flying with us as well. Uh, hello to you and a very warm welcome. Kai, glad you're enjoying the weather. Uh, who else? Steve, lovely to have you back. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Parache, uh, hello to you. Caffel, a very warm welcome, of course. Guest of honor, as usual. Martin, hola. Uh, Kami, hello. I'm very well, thank you. Aleph, hello to you. I think I may have already said your name. And Ben. And uh, William, as well. ATC's louder than me, are they? I've just turned them down. They're on like 25%. I'll turn them down a little more. Okay, let me know if that's any better. Manuel, hello to you in Italy. Um, looking forward to it. Good, Sasha. Uh, hello, a prodigy, and uh, I think that's pretty this much everyone. Fletch, hello to you, and right. Fizzy, <laughs> adventure <Victor>. of <laughs> You flatter me Let's too much. See. No, no, you know what, thank you, <laughs> Papa. But I'll take it anyway. Right, so more about the competition later on. We're also going to have um, the developer popping into the stream for a little chat once we're in the cruise. So a lot to look forward to, but for now, for now, we should try and remember how to set up this aircraft and uh, get things underway. I've started the APU because it's blooming hot here uh, in uh, Miami. So we need to get some air conditioning going. Get the APU bleed on. Done a little bit of setting up already, as I often do. And uh, we'll come down to the MCDU and start setting that up. <clears throat> so our call sign today, AVA031, or our flight number, I should say. Call sign is not AVA031, it's uh, Avianca 31. Our alternate is going to be Bogota, uh, which is SKBO. SKBO. Cost index is going to be 20. And we're going to be cruising at flight level 390. Rowway 16, right, taxi around November 6, Mike. Not flight. Level 3900. A lot of Italians in tonight. Welcome. Welcome. Um, a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're Italian as well. I don't think I knew that. Hello to you, Acme. Welcome. And Craig. Hello, hello. Abdul. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you for a while. Welcome back. Uh, Luke. Luke Buckingham. In for the crash again. In for the crash again. I don't remember you. And I certainly don't remember crashing. <laughs> good, Ben. Good, good. Thank you for the reminder <laughs> about your new plane. <laughs> right, so that's uh, our init A page done. And now we can get our uh, clearance. Miami Tower, good evening, or good afternoon, I should say. Avianca 31, request IFR clearance to Medi. Avianca 31, uh, you are cleared to Rio Negro, Medellin via the EONS to departure, EONS transition, then as file. Maintain 5000, expect flight level 390, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is going to be on Unicom, squad 2123, 2123. Uh, hang on. Uh, cleared to uh, Medellin via the Ions 2 departure, was that? Uh, with the Ions transition. Uh, climb initially 5000, we'll expect flight level 390 10 minutes after departure, and we'll support 2123 Avianca 31. Avianca 31, read back is correct. Push on stage, going to be at your discretion. Expect runway 9 there for departure. Advisory rate tax information, bravo. Uh, we have information, bravo, push and, back, push and start our discretion and we'll advise ready to taxi expecting runway 9. Uh, thank you, Avianca 31. Well, that was all right. That was all right. Miami Tower, very good afternoon. Delta yeah, I'm not very experienced with US ATC. They're always very nice and it's always pretty straightforward. But you know when you're just not... Um, it just doesn't feel as natural as speaking to ATC. Good. Good, so that is our departure as we expected. Uh, so the flight plan page should be pretty much done. 
Uh, we're going to be climbing to 5,000, so we'll put that in. departure, initial climb 5,000 feet, expecting a flight level 370, 10 minutes after departure. Clocking so we can do that in the B page now. Delta, Port the zero fuel ahead. weight from the plane, block Rikens fuel today is 9.5 to tons. KLM 8320 coming from your left. There we go. Delta 5542. And we've got our dynamic performance oh, figures, as some of you will be aware. Oh, you get to start boarding. Yeah, you can start boarding. Yeah, start boarding. Okay. Um, as some of you may be aware, uh, webpro.cz is down at the moment. So our nice, easy, uh, straightforward takeoff performance calculator is no more, apparently. Uh, but I have got a spreadsheet that someone posted in my Discord server, which does a very good job of calculating performance figures. So it's a little bit more faff. You have to put in all of the runway details yourself. Um, as well as uh, the weather, doesn't download it. From uh, away, that but nice one it's nice right. to have uh, an alternative. So we're going to be doing a flaps one takeoff, and we're going to be using a flex takeoff temp of. And KLM sixty seven nineteen, continue all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Good. Gosh, I've missed some. I've missed some chat. Let me catch up on that quickly. Hello, Mark. I don't think I said hello to you. I don't think I knew you were here. Welcome. How's your bank holiday been? Miami Tower, American Man, Tuesday with you, Sun, Juliet 3, Air 321. Kai! Tifat was a beautiful West landing. The plane went Miami. very wrong, but I Can think I it was a beautiful landing. Plane. It certainly Number wasn't a crash. KLM 6719, <laughs> to Virginia Key. Hello, right Sitter, right I'm very well, thank you. Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, behind you try and the write it all down as they're saying it to you. Try. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, to be honest, it's more straightforward than in Europe. Um, but it still just feels like I'm about to do something wrong, get into trouble all the time. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. America 923, uh, you are clear to Rio Negro via the EON to departure. EON uh, you're going to try to be on the stream as much as you can. Okay, okay great. We can't lose the stream because I'm flying with the airline departure. flag from your country. Yeah, well, stick around, Tommy. Stick around as much as you can. How have you been working on bank holiday, Mark? Dingo, hello. I didn't see you arrive either. And Melon, I didn't see you arrive, but I assume you're here because Dingo's saying hello to you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Muna. Thank you very much. Please check left throttle. It's a good point. Um, <laughs> there's some. I had this earlier. I think it's if I knock the slider on my joystick, which it really should de assign at some point. It uh, only activates the left throttle for some reason. Is it? This is still too high. Okay, I'll try and turn it down even more. I don't know what's going on with V-Pilot because in my volume mixer it's at like 18%. We'll try it all the way down to 12 as long as I can still hear it that should be okay. I can always turn myself up if that doesn't work. <coughs> it's true Simon, it's true. So who's flying with with us? I know Simon is, I know Ian is, um, I know that, who else is? I know at least one more. Uh, Jamie, of course. Uh, I think this is the first time you've flown with this, Jamie, isn't it? Very nice to have you along. Um, yeah, I think that might be it. That's certainly the only one showing up on V Pilot. Um, so, yeah, excellent. Thank you all for coming along. So, that's our performance page done. That's basically our MCD setup. Charlie, altimeter 3012. Right, we'll get the updated ATIS. Is that volume a bit better now? Number 299 Delta, Squawk, So we're going to manage speed heading and altitude mode. And we can now have a little look at the charts in the inbuilt Navigraph charts, which does unfortunately still sign you out every time. Are you a robot? Uh, but it doesn't take a second to sign back in, so I'll do that now. Is that on your display? Probably not. I'll make sure by putting it in the middle. Number 299, the Delta, continue taxi by Hilo, advice ready for departure. Okay, LM6719, uh, contact Kinecom, half, half a good flight. We'll Scan see. the QR code and log in, and it should be okay. And it should just pop up, hopefully. I am Itawi, good afternoon, American 1613, Herbie, ILS. Mm. Right. It is a lot of in. It is a lot of info, isn't it? 13, yeah. Heavy, and he speaks right, very quickly uh, as well. Prior to your arrival, ah, here we are. Right. right. Wind, Flaps. Everyone's scanning my QR code. 
<laughs> Gee, I'd never thought of that. Uh, I'd never thought of that. <laughs> they won't. They still need my username and password to log in, though. So let's get some charts up on here. So airport and airport info, parking bays. Uh, we'll get our SID up, which is Eons two. So many SIDs. Eons two, there it is. I'll do us for now. Let's just have a look at the SID chart so we know what we're doing there. So we're taking off from runway nine which is this one here. We're going to go to Virginia Key, VKZ. Uh, 923, can you say that slower, please? Let's just check that's in there. VKZ, yep. And then down to Dickey, yep. Over to Shula. And then to Eons. Great, so that's uh, exactly as it should be. As you can see, we're parked up here on Juliet 4. And we're basically going to have a pretty straightforward taxi along either Tango or Sierra uh, down to the end. Let's close that for now. The flight's about three hours long, something like that. <laughs> you found when you pin charts when you reduce it, they unpin. Yeah. They're not working 100% as I'd like them to. I'd like to be able to close them and open them again without them taking forever to load. And sometimes they even uh, make you log in again if you leave them closed for too long. So I'll be mostly using the charts on my iPad. But to give you a look without exiting the sim and opening up a separate app, it's, it's pretty handy, I think. Shall we do our before start checklist? Before yes, we start shall. checklist. Yes, we shall. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and Speedbird covers. Speedbird 2037. It's in Colombia. It's in Colombia, Speedbird. Removed. Signs. On and auto. ADS. Nav. Fuel quantity. Set. Takeoff data. Set. Barrow ref. One, zero, two, zero, set. Oh no. One, zero, two, zero, set. I don't set. want you telling Down me in to uh, the line. hectopascals. I want you telling me in uh, inches of mercury, please. There we are. He won't do that again. Uh, right, so according to our pre-flight events, we have 15 minutes left to go before departure, but we won't hang around for that. We'll Hi fast guys, forward here's the load a little bit. Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. Not exactly, yeah. Uh, having to log in again is a bit of a pain. John John, hello. Welcome. How are you? Attention, record Miami Center. I'm sorry, Miami Tower is closing in. Ah, that's a shame. Miami Tower's closing. Still, we've got our clearance. We might just about get pushed back and get taxi clearance from him. Who knows? We'll try and uh, expedite expedite our setup. Also, review the safety instruction in your seat pocket. If you're seated at an exit seat, also review the exit seating criteria. Hey guys, all packs were on board. Are we clear to close? Yeah, yep. please do. Thanks. Let please me know do. if you need anything. I hope so, Sasha. I hope so. Yeah, I have to say, in previous sims, I've almost exclusively flown IFR, ex almost exclusively airliners. But in this sim, VFR has really taken on a new uh, place in my life because there's just so much to see and it all looks amazing. Um, but yes, I am an airliner pilot at heart. Okay, so the door's closed. You check. Uh, we'll turn on the beacon light. And we'll complete the before start checklist below the line windows and we're doors. heading to Medellin in Colombia John John closed closed beacon on thrust levers idle parking brake on before start checklist complete Riley hello I'm very well thank you congratulations on finishing school that must be a fantastic feeling so you've got what six weeks off now something like that Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback. Engine start. Roger. Release the parking brakes, please. Parking Get brakes pushed. released. Pushing back. So one of the key differences between US ATC and European ATC is that you you almost always, or possibly always, push back at your discretion. 
because in America they normally have ramp controllers as well as a ground controller. So uh, in the real world you'd contact the ramp control to get pushed by clearance, but uh, ground don't do top down for that sort of thing for some reason. Hello, okay, Surrender. Eight, right by, uh, Mike yes, it is, seven. Tommy. Yes, it is. Uh, Mike Nagel, sorry. And that's actually by Ramsdale November. Nice. Right on 15, 13, maybe. Thank you. Have a day. Miami Tower, hello. American 1545. With information, Charlie, request clearance at NASA. So I'm using an add on called Pushback by Express by FSG. That's where the voices come from. Right, okay, Starting okay, engine 2. I hope this uh, LATAM aircraft behind me doesn't have the same idea. <laughs> Could get nasty. Attention all aircraft from my frequency, Miami Tower is now closed. Everybody stay sure you stay and come on. Be a happy, wonderful flight. Have a good day. Good job, see ya, thanks. Good day. Bye. Number 299, Delta 18, we'll contact any come see ya. Do you know, Steve, I thought that as well. I thought that as well. Um, but I, a lot of them are actually CRJs. I'm actually starting to wonder if maybe um, there just are a lot of people flying CRJs. Because I can't imagine why a SIM update would have changed that SIM model matching. Do you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't make much sense. Come on, you can turn your tug a little bit more than that, can't you? Do you know, Colombia used to be quite a dangerous place. Uh, I don't know if it still is. Certainly Medellin, where we're going now, isn't particularly dangerous anymore. Pushback complete. Set parking brakes, please. Parking brake set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the right-hand side with the pin. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. Right, so we've got engine two started. We'll start engine one. Starting engine one. SKBO is your home airport. Oh, nice. SK oh, good. I've always wanted to live within with a view of planes coming and going. Mind you, I suppose if you actually do, the noise probably gets to you after a while, does it? Hola, Martin. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, my, I've got an uh, 1080Ti GPU, Hoseel, and there's a, a, in the video description you can see my full um, system specs and graphics settings. As well as all crew instructions. I would love to go. I would love to go to Columbia. Oh, you fly on live track? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with uh, with uh, MSFS model matching. Then. I sorry. I thought you were talking about that. Doors are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for door operation. Each door is equipped. What country do I prefer? The US, the UK, or Germany? Gosh, uh, well, I'm from the UK, so I know the UK best. I quite like the UK. I think every country has its problems. Um, but yeah, I like I like the UK. Which one do you think? So we can turn off the APU bleed, turn off the APU, we can turn on the taxi light. We'll switch to Unicom on 122.8. Because Miami Tower is closed now. Still, it was nice to get clearance, have a little bit of contact with ATC at least. Three a.m. Gosh, no nighttime curfew, eh? Hello, Bradley. How are you? Yeah, there's a picture, Hosiel. In the if you click Show More. Uh, in the video description, there's a link to an image with all of my graphics settings. Right, who's this? Why is he cancelling his pushback? Is it because of me? I hope not. Uh, right, so now we're away from the terminal building. We'll turn on our weather. Oh, weather radar's already on. No, it's not. It's in the middle position. Uh, predictive wind shear to on. TCAS to TARA. After start we'll checklist. After start checklist. First officer will set anti the Anti ice. Don't set. need anti ice. ECAM status. Checked. Pitch trim. 
I did Dingo, yes, thank you. That, that was the Rudder Excel trim. spreadsheet, right? Zero. After start checklist, complete. Flight control Martin Gamazzo, welcome. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. I don't know, John John. I don't use X-Plane 11. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Is it, Tommy? That's awesome. That's good to hear. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Right, so we'll check our takeoff config. Takeoff config normal. Auto brake I'm going to set to max later on because that started cancelling itself again. I don't know why. And we'll check the cabin during taxi. Clear left side. Hello, Clear Captain right Cabal. Side. Well, welcome. Brake check. Pressure zero. And now I'm just going to make a little announcement on Unicom to let everyone know what we're doing once I've decided what we're doing. Uh, let's get the charts up again. So we're going to taxi via... Well, let's just go Papa Sierra, shall we? Miami traffic, Avianca 31, taxiing to holding point Sierra 1 for runway 09er uh, via Papa and Sierra. Let's do this. Let's get the show on the road. Matteo, welcome, welcome. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Miami traffic Delta 5542 heavy will give way to the American Mail at 821. Is this an overnight flight? No, it's not. It's a daytime flight. Oh, really? Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. It doesn't know about some airports for some reason, but I will have a look. I'll have a look. See if I can fix it. Good evening, Max. How are you? <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to flying over Cuba, actually. I haven't seen it in the sim. But I've been in real life and I liked it a lot, so... Uh, yeah, it should be good. So what we do, we're going straight ahead here, we'll make a slight right and a slight left after the uh, terminal. And Miami traffic, Delta 5542, have a taxi calling point to run the zero nine via taxi line two two hotel, Quebec and Sierra. <laughs> I know it's an honour, isn't it? Uh. Good evening, Vicio Visuals. Welcome to the stream. Alex, hello to you as well. You just, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, that's very nice to hear. And I'm glad you could make it along to a stream. I am dandy. Yes, I am. I have some s slight regret about having flown from uh, um, Barcelona to... Where did I go to? Gran Canaria? No, Tenerife this morning because um, I wasted quite a lot of the day I just wanted to test the A320 and I didn't realize quite how long a flight it was so I sort of wish prior to starting this flight I'd had a little bit more time in the sun but this is a first world problem and uh, yes generally I'm very well thank you Stick our strobes on for the runway crossing. Miami traffic, Avianca 31 is crossing runway 30 on Sierra. I went to Tenerife South. 
Well, hello. Welcome to you. How are things? You are Jamie. That's very considerate of you. Thanks. I am a traffic motion man. Can you please follow me at the end of it? Oh yeah, I didn't realise you were the American. I don't know why. Because you said you had the same call sign as me. <laughs> I think that's why I didn't know it was you. Right, let's get on with the... Uh, set the auto brake to max now. We'll ding the cabin, get them ready. And then we'll do the before takeoff checklist down to the line. Okay. <laughs> this is true, Steve. It's true. Uh, I don't know if I answered you right. I went to Tenerife South to have a look at the new Aerosoft scenery. What's with the thunder? It's accurate. There are cumulonimbus around. It was in the 80s. Uh, i mm, I've never heard of it, but uh, maybe if I like what I see today, we'll have to. I'll have to do a little bit of VFR around Colombia. <laughs> no, not all night. No, I didn't. I did stay up till about half past twelve last night, and then I did another flight today. Miami traffic. Thank you, Manuel. Oh, that's Miami even more sense of you, Joe. You fly into Miami a lot, so the L is the LVFR scenery worth it? <laughs> um, I didn't particularly rate it when I did my review of it. I still don't think it's amazing, um, but. It's better, it's better than not having a scenery, put it that way. And it has got some nice features. He has improved it over the, uh, over the months since it was released. So yeah, I think, it's, I think it's above average, but not amazing. I do sometimes, Fizzy, yes, sometimes I do. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 2. Config 2. V1. It's not config VR, 2 though. Why V2, is he saying that every time? Temp. It's very annoying. V1. 1. 5. 1. VR. 1. 5. 3. V2. 1. 5. 3. V1. 1. 5. 1. VR. 1. 5. 3. V2. 1. 5. 3. ATC. Set. Ecam memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. It's a long old runway this, isn't it? Very long, by the way. There is something exciting about flying in a totally different continent, though. Look at this contain containers for sale sign. Only in America would you see that advertised to passengers on board a plane. No, he should say config one plus F set. That's what he should say. And that's what he used to say until I don't know when, but he stopped doing it. I'm pleased, Martin. I'm pleased. Thank you, Manuel. Jeff Boy! Boss! How are you? Welcome to the stream, sir. I have, here is Scout. Yes, I have. Um, only once. I didn't much like it. Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Right, so we're just going to hold here a moment, get everything set up, see where everyone else is. And then, uh, in a mo, we'll be in the air. I'm going to the 763 with a derated temp. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, that is nice. I'm very jealous of your 767s and 757s. It must be so, so. Where is everybody? Ah, oh, they're coming, they're coming. Just a little on the slow side. But that's okay. Right, uh, let's just have a little look at our departure route again on the iPad. We'll get the... Uh, ooh, what's MYNN Centre? Probably ought to have a look just in case there's someone we should be contacting. Ah, Nassau Centre, so they cover the Bahamas. 
don't think we're going to be going into their airspace, but you never know. You never know. We'll see what happens. Oh, ah, that's Jamie. We stick to speed limit. <laughs> so do I. I was under 30 throughout. <laughs> right. Uh, strobe lights are still on from when we cross the runway. We'll turn on the landing lights. Nose light to take off. Do below the before the takeoff checklist. Cabin crew below the line. be seated for takeoff. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Marcus, Confirmed. thank you crew. very much for the donation, sir. Thank you. Now, let me just check I've got my alert box. There it is. <laughs> Advise. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. I'm not. I'm flying on uh, Vatsim, Capitan. Flying on Vatsim. The flight's about three hours long, Fizzy, something like that. Miami traffic, Avianca 31. Line up and take off runway 9 departure to the south. Right, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> Good luck, Hosiel. I hope they work for you. Oh yes, I'd forgotten about the photogrammetry. So that must be Simon, who's appearing as a 787 for some reason, but is in fact a 767. And that must be Jamie. Anyway, let's get out, let's get underway so that they can... Uh, Ready? Ready. Take off. Not hang around for too long. Now, I'm still getting used to my rudder pedals, which are newly greased with some uh, silicon thingy that I ordered off eBay. I'm still not very good with them, but they feel better than they did. Manflex, SRS, runway, auto thrust blue. Check. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Check. One, rotate. Positive. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Gear up. Gear up. Bye bye, Miami Airport. We'll make a gentle turn around to the right, as per the SID. Let's engage the autopilot, autopilot so one. that I can give you a little look outside. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty nice round here. Nice park. The pedals are feeling much, much smoother, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Fly Simulations. Cole, thank you. Uh, would I turn join FS on? You can't use that at the same time as VATSIM, I don't believe. In fact, I don't even have it installed. There is no Boeing 767 in MSFS, but it should show up with proper model matching on VATSIM. Uh, I think Simon's flying. Yes, yeah, Simon's flying one in X plane. He's flying along with us. Alright, reduce the levers to the climb detent. I think we'll just enjoy the views for a little bit, eh? It is. I haven't flown out of Miami for ages and ages. But it's a stunning city, isn't it? See, the event seems too quiet now. I can't hear it properly. Manuel, thank you very much for the two euro donation, sir. Thank you very much. Right, let's get our flaps up. Delta 55, 42, after flaps zero. Speed checked. Flight check. Flight check. Flight check. Speed checked. Flaps zero. So we've reached our clearance limit of 5,000 feet, but there's no ATC online anymore, so let's carry on the climb. All the way up to flight level 390. 
He flew into Miami, did he? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, you should. <laughs> They're not, are they? Another 747 for MSFS? Well, I was reading the AvSim forums and someone predicted this, that they would keep doing what they've done. Just find some models, use the default systems and flog them off to the newcomers for $30 odd a pop. It is a business model, but it's certainly not what Captain Sim used to be all about. They are amazing, aren't they? They are. And this is why I keep forgiving the Airbus for all its quirks. Because it's just beautiful, this thing. Oh, sorry, I missed something up here from Melon Lord. And Kami. And Cattle. God, I've missed loads of stuff, sorry. I'm hopeless at uh, multitasking. Just on time after foam bath in UK weather. <laughs> nice. You you mean to say you've put foam in a swimming pool, Kami? Adults have foam as well. They just don't call it foam, they call it moisturiser or bath cream or whatever. <laughs> You're gonna have to get some grease. Yeah, well, the grease that I've got is I, it's called Nigel, I think, or something like that, N-Y-G-E-L. And you can only seem to get it in the US. But there was some bloke on eBay who had uh, done something quite enterprising. He had bought a tube for his own stuff and he was selling it off in tiny amounts in little pots. So I bought one of those for five pounds, just one gram, and it's you know it's enough for about five applications, I'd say. And what it does is it, it it's actually made them a bit stiffer, but it, it stopped them jerking at all, so they're stiffer and smoother. And uh, yeah, they feel good now. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm any good at using them compared with the twist axis, but I'm confident they're quite good now. Vimal, hello. Hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? No, you haven't missed the giveaway. No, the giveaway will start uh, soon and we'll finish after we land. That's what I did, Kami. Oh yeah, the distance to go. Yes, let's do that first. Demetrius, hello. <laughs> Good, I'm very, very pleased. <laughs> No, I am. It's nice to have you here. Always is. In spite of your cringy comments. Right, maybe I've put in the wrong ICAO code for uh, where we're going. No, it is SKRG, isn't it? Yeah, SKRG. That's what I've put. I think it just doesn't know where it is. What if I just change it briefly to Heathrow? That's weird, it seems to have just, oh no, it has updated. That can't be right either. Right, let me switch it off and switch it on again. I don't really know how to fix it. Um, so turn off Benny Overlay, Progress Benny Overlay Widgets. What I'll do is I'll close down FSUI PC as well and restart that. And maybe... Maybe that'll do it. Bear with me a mo. Ah, I think what might have happened is FSU IPC might have shut down when I restarted the sim. I think it's meant to do that and I didn't load it up again so it might all be my fault. SKRG. And let's let it run again. That's looking more like it, isn't it? Yeah, that's looking good. Cool. Stiff and smooth, Craig. It's the way forward for, for rudder pedals. <laughs> Hello, Owen. How are you? Could, could it be done? Probably not, seeing as mine couldn't make it from uh, uh, JFK to Dublin. Right. 
set standard. Standard so just do cross check. Take off climb Passing checklist. flight level two zero one. Yeah, but you don't fly realistically, KB. You just have fun in whatever plane, and that's fair enough. But uh, now check after take I like off to fly climb checklist. Landing gear up flaps retracted. Packs. Farhad, hello, welcome to the stream. On down to the line below the line. Barrow ref standard set. Standard set after takeoff checklist complete. Okay, so that's not bad. That was an on-time departure, a reasonable takeoff, and a good climb so far. Uh, pressure. What's the pressure, Kami? There's no pressure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jenny, are you here? I want to say thank you on a stream for upgrading to Club Filbert Silver. That's much appreciated. I don't think you are here. But maybe you'll watch at a later date. <laughs> right, fair enough. Don't worry, Austin. Don't you worry. Welcome to the stream. I'm just going to fly up the US West Coast, San Jose to Vancouver. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, I was on it, Kami. Aviation world is such a weird one. It is. Yeah, it is. Hello, Bailey. How are you? Right. Well, now we are airborne and climbing nicely up to our cruising flight level. I think it's time to start the competition, the giveaway. So as with all my giveaways, to be in with a chance of winning, you need to type the answer to a question in the YouTube chat. And uh, at the end of the flight, after I've shut down the engines, uh, two winners will be drawn. So the prize is a copy of V-Pilot Designs SKRG Jose Maria Cordoba uh, scenery in Medellin for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You will win the prize by, uh, as I say, by entering the competition and having your name drawn at random. To claim the prize, you will need to send me an email address that is registered on Sim Market. I'll then pass this email address onto the developer and he will add a copy of the product to your Sim Market account for you to download. Full terms and conditions are linked to in the video description, so do make sure you have a read of those before entering. Um, and I think that's all I need to tell you. Oh, YouTube is not a sponsor of this competition. They have nothing to do with it. I believe I'm supposed to tell you that. Do read the terms and conditions. And without further ado, I shall ask the question, which is, which is, <laughs> in which year did SKRG Airport open? In which year did SKRG Airport open? That's the airport we're flying to, Medellin, Jose Maria Cordoba. So I just need the figures in a chat message. And good luck. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, Bailey. I'm very well. Good to be in the sky again. Two days ago on AirAsia A320, Neo landed in Thessaloniki, an A3, an AirAsia. Where was that coming from? You did a flight Manchester to JFK. Wow, that's a that's a good long haul that is. Did it go okay, Satira? Operating the Athens to Thessaloniki route as a Sky Express. Oh, okay, so it's sort of leased from them, was it? Makes sense. 55, that's brilliant. Well done, well done. Uh, Bailey, to have your entry counted, you just need to put in the figures. 
so nothing else, just the, just the numbers. Return to Corfu for 20 euros, that's incredible. Is that Ryan, eh? Yeah, I guess it's not worth them repainting it for like a short term lease. Welcome back, Tommy. Uh, the competition is underway now. If you want to be in with a chance of winning, you just have to tell me in the chat comments in which year the airport that we're flying to opened. So in which year did SKRG Airport open? No need to copy and paste comments from Wikipedia, okay, me? Uh, just the year. Content rather than comments. I guess so. Still, still a good price for any distance. Though. It, Tommy. I never knew that. That's very interesting. And wherever it was from, Kami, if you want to be in with a chance of winning, you just have to type the year press return, nothing else. They're not still operating it, are they, Tommy? Is the music volume okay for everyone? A bit too loud, a bit too quiet? eligible entries so far. Keep it up, keep it up. Oh, 30 years ago. Wow. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, that's weird, Kami. Must be some audio files somewhere, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a busy old route. Oh, thanks to Tim. Yeah, I think you could say is not enough or are not enough features. I think you didn't need to correct it. Yeah, I just saw that. I was googling Avianca 747 and it's the first thing that came up. It's very sad. How are you? I think it's been a while. Nice to have you back. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Very well. And hello to you, Colin. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that's good news, Kami. Glad you managed to clear some space. Yeah, a good clear out and reinstall is uh, well worth it sometimes. wing view there for you. So another 
competition's underway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you can support the channel. Um, if you enjoy what I do, uh, please do subscribe, click the thumbs up button, turn on notifications so that you're the first to hear when I go live or uh, when I release a video of some sort. And you can also make a donation via streamlabs.com slash philbertflies. Um, or if you want to support the channel with a monthly donation and be one of my favourite people in the whole world, uh, then you can join Com Club Filbert, which is my uh, YouTube membership programme. It's very, very cheap. £1.99 for Club Filbert Gold each month, or £5.99 for Club Filbert Silver. Um, you get, in return for that, custom emojis, uh, custom badges, as you'll notice, Satira and various other people sporting in the chat. Um, you'll also get access to private members-only channels on my Discord server. And if you join the Silver tier, then you also get a monthly members-only exclusive private live stream um, slash group flight, which has a very different feel to these streams with lots of people watching. We all discuss between us where we want to go, and we go flying, and it's a lot of fun. And all that for only £1.99 or 5 99 So if you want to know more, just click the Join button underneath the video. No, I know nothing about Avianca. That's also very interesting to me. The old, second oldest airline that still operates. Which is the oldest? You absolutely love my room. Enjoy my room. Thank you. Oh, I couldn't bring myself to do it, Sasha. I have to say, I find the reviews a lot less fun than I used to. So I'm really only sticking to airports that I think loads of people will be interested in or that I'm personally very interested in. <laughs> soon, Dan, soon. $20 for that is very good, yeah. Gold cheaper than silver? No, there is no gold. Did I say gold? I Maybe I, maybe I said gold. I meant bronze. So I have bronze, which is £1.99 a month, and silver, which is £5.99 a month. Oh, Ian, bad luck. It, it's not something to do with your control assignments, is it? Because I know I had trouble because my slider on my joystick was still assigned, as well as my throttle quadrant. Might be worth looking at that. Addy, hello! Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm very well. KLM is the oldest. Yes, I did know that. I'd forgotten. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I meant bronze is one ninety nine, silver's five ninety nine, gold, if it ever happens, probably will be nine or ten ninety nine. KLM is the oldest line of the anchor. They started in nineteen nineteen. KLM is the oldest been at the anchor just for two months. Ah, oh, right. You've got some good aviation knowledge there, Tom. I'm impressed. Dayton Trucks and Train, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. And also welcome to Andres, welcome. And 48 Vision, and Charles Emeka, and Colin, and Manuel for the donation. I've already said thank you to you, but thank you again. And uh, a few other subscribers here. Uh, Muna, Cypress, thank you for subscribing as well. And Simon, thank you for the £7.63. Should get text to speech for that side so we can hear it. What? Why is it not? Should get text to speech. Hmm. I'll look into that. I'll read it out for now. A proper hello now for flight number 370 after leaving KMIA behind. Definitely always brightens my day when you're streaming. It's always a huge pleasure when I can make time to fly along. Oh bless you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure for me when you when you join me as well. Indeed, wishing us all a safe rest of the journey. Yeah. Indeed. I'm looking forward to overflying Cuba. I hope I hope we haven't already done it and I've just missed it. I 
I've got very little sense of Caribbean uh, geography and where everything is in relation to everything else. No, we're just approaching it now. Not too far off anyway. Can we see it in the distance? Yes, just about. Yes, we can. There's some nice water masking around it as well. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Hello, I'm not afraid. Welcome to the stream. And I'm glad you're not afraid. And hello, Elliot. N776 AV. Just going to add this to my Volanta. JFK to Miami. Oh, right. <laughs> I was one in 1984. Um, I don't remember the airport opening. <laughs> but yes, I think it's a fairly safe bet. So yes, for those of you who have joined recently, we're running a competition to win one of two copies of um, SKRG uh, scenery by V Pilot Designs. That is Medellin Airport. And all you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is answer the following in question. Following question: In which year did SKRG Airport open? In which year did Jose Maria Cordoba Airport in Medellin open? And you just need to put the figures in the chat uh, to be in with a chance of winning. Oh, Tommy, I can't. I just can't. I've said hola. That's about as much as I can do, I think. I can say buenas tardes. I can say uh, mi amo Filbert. But that's really about it, I'm afraid. <laughs> no worries, Ian. See you shortly. See you shortly. So, fly simulations, Cole. To be in with a chance of winning, you have to just type the year, nothing else, just the year. <laughs> and Rikito Mas. No puedo. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get another beer, maybe later. I'm going to get another beer. <laughs> What is the music? The music is, uh, it's a playlist called uh, Retro Riviera by a man called Martin Landstrom on Epidemic Sound. I'll, uh, I'll type his name in case you want to look him up. Gracias Owen. <laughs> and Tommy, thank you. Mac 
point eight two. Yeah, you will. <laughs> You're lower than us, though, right? I hoping to find someone who speaks Spanish like me. Is that what that means, Owen? <laughs> yeah, we did well. We did well, so. Good evening, Canal Tutor. Welcome back, how are you? Yeah, it's all gonna be fine. Mmm! Yeah, that's one of the things I love about streaming. That you do just, you get people turning up from the countries that you're flying to or from. Who otherwise might never have found you. V Pilot, welcome, welcome. This is V Pilot, uh, also known as Diego, who is the creator of the um, airport that we're flying to today. Whose name I keep forgetting, which is awful. <laughs> you, you've probably worked out. Jose Maria Cordoba, that's right, Jose Maria Cordoba. Uh, he made it, and uh, in about half an hour, he's going to join me for a little bit of a chat as we fly along. Via Discord voice chat, so that'll be something to look forward to. <laughs> it's true, Steve. It does have a Pan Am slash Golden Era of flight uh, vibe to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Doing 45 minutes hold fuel on board. Why do you expect delays? What do you know that I don't? Look at this, we're approaching Cuba. Pop out and have a good look at it. That is spectacular, isn't it? Move a little bit away from the aircraft so it's slightly less noisy. Finally out of quarantine. Good news, good news. I take it you never got it, Canal Tutor. Oh, okay, good. Because <laughs> I haven't taken 45 minutes old. Yeah, it's the second biggest airport in Colombia, so you should be alright, Kate. to land? Is it Aterrir or something like that? Podemos Aterrir? I can't remember. I'm sort of, I'm sort of just taking a French word and hoping it's also Spanish. Only. <laughs> you're gonna leave now but you will return but you're not promising you'll return you might fall asleep. <laughs> okay Demetrius, no problem. Um, Sigur D, uh, what you need to do is just type the year, otherwise it won't be picked up by the uh, bot. Podemos aterrizar. I wasn't too far off. I wasn't too far off. It's magnificent, isn't it, Catherine? Absolutely magnificent. I think we'll spin it around to enjoy a little bit more of that shallow water and coral over there. It's 
So I think, is this Cayo Santa Maria that we're passing over now? It's, it's one of the Cuban islands. And then, uh, as you can see, we're going from there over the Cuban mainland, right through the middle pretty much. Um, so we'll be passing over the Laguna de la Leche, a city called Moron, and uh, going very close to a city called Ciego de Avila, Avila, a town called Baragua, and then back out over the sea. And then we're going to we're going to head over Montego Bay in Jamaica. So quite a few Caribbean islands in route. Manuel, as Caffel says, no caps please, but go on, I will. Hello to Italy. <laughs> Benvenuti, I think. I know, Simon, now, this is the trouble. See, I, this is the trouble. There's always something to be jealous of. I'm missing my uh, FS Labs A320. But I know that I would not be seeing sites like this in uh, P3D. So here we are. Yeah, me too. And it shouldn't be too long. It shouldn't be too long until uh, Vietnam can bring their birds. British Airways 747, the prize is, as uh, Nightmore correctly says, a copy of V-Pilot Design's Jose Maria Cordoba Airport in Medellin. There's two copies of that to be given away. Terms and conditions are in the video description. If you want to enter, you just need to answer the following question. In what year did SKRG Airport open? So in what year did Jose Maria Cordoba Airport in Medellin open? No problem, Manuel. Life is about compromises. But... By the end of the year, we should have to make one fewer of them, I hope. I'm going to find some more music. This is true, Simon, this is true. And that is the beauty of having two sims. There's always something that you're missing that you can then go and get from the other one. You want me to fly from Ciudad de Panama to Buenos Aires? Well, if there's decent add-on scenery, I would like to do it as well, but I don't think there is yet. I only fly from handcrafted airports in the What did you do, Jamie? That's correct, Ross, but you need to type it without the question mark or it won't be counted. Valdelea, bon dia. Welcome. don't understand what that is. I know three of the four words, but I don't know what Abra means. Andrew, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. And the Jonathan as well, you've subscribed. And UX Voice, welcome to all three of you. Oh! Well, I can see why. It shouldn't do that switch without you knowing about it. Can you can you not just do a little mid-air refueling? I know it's not ideal, but it's probably better than crashing and burning. Well, we have 
Ah, okay. We have to wait. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Beautiful big 747 southeast. Okay. Really? Oh yes, going from Miami to Manaus. We're going to divert to Kings. That is more realistic than mid area feeling. It's true. I admire your commitment to realism. Um, personally, personally, I'd say that it's not your fault. It's the plane's fault, and therefore you should just be a fuel in mid air. Going back to explain is probably one of the best decisions that you've made regarding flights in the past. Oh, good. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. And really, it's it's down to Ben that I went back to P3D, and I'm really pleased I've done that as well. I, you can have the best of both worlds, just not all at once yet. Hello, Kubatovkovsky. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome to the stream. It's beautiful, isn't it? Funnily enough, we are flying over Cuba now. Uh, that's what we're seeing here. So we're just reaching the, the south coast in the middle. John McLean, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Great name, by the way. Oh, and you certainly can. You certainly can. <laughs> I'm pleased. I'm pleased you enjoyed it. You're from Poland. I, I didn't think you were from Cuba, but I just thought it was interesting that you arrived as we were flying over Cuba. <laughs> Very nice to have you here, anyway. Which part of Poland are you? Oh, I see, I see, Jamie. Okay, well, divert to Kingston, get a bit more fuel, and then come join us again. You managed it. Good. Good. I had to do it mid-Atlantic. Both your engines just switched off come up dual engine phase. What, in the A32 NX here? Or are you flying an X-Plane? The physics are better in an X-Plane than P3D. And to be honest, I think Microsoft Flight Simulator has got the balance between them quite right. Just right. P3D, it does always feel like you're flying on rails a little bit. X-Plane, you get thrown about quite violently and even the smallest bit of wind, or you certainly used to. And uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, to me, feels the most realistic of the three. Are you using the dev version or the experimental or stable? But P3D, if you you know, probably has the most in-depth airliners. I've never really liked X-Plane. I've never. I don't know. I think it's just personal taste as much as anything. But um, I've always flown Microsoft Flight Simulators. Tried X-Plane 10. Didn't love it. Oh, 
Oh, did he self promote Have I didn't even notice. Once again, thank you for being here. <laughs> You're too quick, I just I miss all of the things you censor. <laughs> I lost 4,000 feet with climbing back now. Awesome. I, we took off from runway 9, Kate. Uh, Moon as Cyprus, you have to just type the year on its own for your entry to be counted. Dev, yeah, that's what I'm flying. I haven't experienced that yet. But it has been doing some other weird things on my last two flights. It has, this is true, Satira, but I, I was um, I was tempted to use it anyway tonight because the last time I flew it, everything worked, whereas the last time I flew the dev build, a lot went wrong. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, B3D does have better benefits, it's true. It is Lego own, it is. Should take PK Sim sceneries. I've got a couple of PK, or I had a couple of PK Sim sceneries, I think. Can't remember which ones. So I, I flew P3D up until MSFS Beta came out, and then I just stopped. So I had like a couple of years. Or a, no, not even a couple of years, a year and a bit without flying P3D. And I, I am installed it all, and I honestly can't remember which scenery I've bought, which I haven't, but I am aware of PK Sim. No, I'm not booking a holiday this year, Steve, no. I think it's bonkers. Personal view, I think it's bonkers. I, when I go on holiday, I want to be able to relax and, and not worry about, you know, new variants popping up and having to quarantine and queuing for hours at airports and... I will go away next year. He asked for subs. Oh, okay, YouTube has it, right? Cheeky sod. <laughs> uh, Lucalus, that is an overlay called Bene Overlay. So I don't see it, it's just a streaming overlay. Rasbing Ness, welcome to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Very hit and miss. There are some toxic people. <laughs> oh, every sim community has that. It drives me mad. You just have to look at the various absim forums to uh, to see that. All sims are good in their own way, and all sims are rubbish in their own way as well. And that's the way it's always been, and that's the way it'll always be. Sadly. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's a it's a decent community. Especially, I might say, the Filbert Flies bear there. <laughs> there's never there's never any nastiness on my Discord. There has ever been any nastiness at all. Everyone gets on. It's uh, yeah, it's really nice. He did, Andres. He did. He's uh, he's fixed it by refueling midair. No, I've never flown with Ibal. No, I haven't. I don't know why, really. I just I got into that sim first of all, and I've never seen a reason to switch. really enjoying this music. I hope you are. This is someone called Lope or Lope. Perfect Monday evening flying music. Alejandro, that is all true, um, but you must just type the year because this is selected by a bot. So you just need to type the year in a message on its own. Yeah, I think 
I think people are too quick to be critical of a sofa, I have to say. I think what they've built here is absolutely incredible. And yeah, there are things that are frustrating about it, and yes, they do need to be called out on pushing updates that break things and all the rest of it. But overall, what, what an achievement. Recreating the whole world, recreating realistic weather patterns. I mean, the whole world. And it, it just looks amazing. So, uh, yeah. And they always seem really nice on their... Uh, their Twitch streams as well. I feel for them a little bit. It is like dinner music, yeah. Good digger, glad, glad you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sita. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you to say. Making me blush now. So, <laughs> thanks. Well, I couldn't really comment on that, Simon, but it's certainly an interesting point of view and uh, one that I support wholeheartedly. <laughs> right, I'm just going to take a short break, nip to the toilet, and uh, I shall see you shortly. I'm back and welcome Tom. How are you? Feels like it's been a while. It's good to have you back. <laughs> Careful, Steve. Careful. <laughs> Get shut down. Flight level 390. And uh, we're about halfway between Cuba and Jamaica now. In fact, I haven't shown you our route, have I? I will. And I can do it like this now. Switch to the world map. Make this a bit bigger. So, as you are aware, uh, we took off from Miami, flew over the city and then right on Key Biscayne as part of the uh, SID, and we're basically flying south. Uh, so here's where we cut across Cuba, here's Jamaica, and as I say we're going to be flying directly over Montego Bay, and then we're continuing south, we've got a lot of ocean to cover, before making land near, I bet this is going to be somewhere I can't pronounce, in between Monit Monitos and San Bernardo del Viento. Then we're going to fly near Monteria and start our star near San Jose de Ure. 
uh, before flying over Medellin and uh, then coming into land we're expecting a runway 01 arrival haven't sorted out the approach yet I'll do that a little bit later on I think no let's do it now why why on earth not so from Apex 1 Charlie oh Arnav don't want to do an Arnav the plane doesn't like Arnavs never mind we'll make it work just because it won't give us vertical guidance doesn't mean we can't do it Yeah, it's not a particularly complex one. I think we'll give that a whirl. There you are. That is the plan and the route. Can I do a Russian flight? Um, there aren't any very good Russian airport sceneries yet, uh, Leon, but when there are, I'd like to. The chart will give us the vertical. Oh yeah, it was you who was trying to persuade me that I should do Arnav approaches even though they don't work. And I will. <laughs> I will. Yeah, we can we can choose a, a descent rate based on our speed which will give us a three degree glide, it'll be fine. Uh, do I use Spotify? I don't use Spotify actually, no. Uh, so this is this is a site called Epidemic Sound which specialises in royalty free music that we're listening to at the moment. You're landing at Edinburgh, don't worry, don't you worry. Don't worry, whenever you're able to get the dash eight if you do, you've planned all <laughs> Yeah. Good. Good. I will, Ben, I will. I think honestly think I will. It's just really the question is whether I hold out till I'm next paid like a sensible grown-up or just just splurge a bit of money on it before then like a child. And I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes. Teguchi Galpa. I'm going to have to look this up. You're just about to fly for Jamie, nice. I'll do any Narnav you like, all day, all night, but I'll do it in a CJ4, I'll do it in a sim where a sim with an A320 that has proper VNAV. I'm not a fan of bodging it, really, but I'm doing it today for Dingo. think hold out you'll be the angel on my shoulder for a while. <laughs> thank you that will make a nice change that will make a nice change <laughs> oh Tom Conton I've done it I've done the Arnav approach into Tom Conton I didn't make the uh, I didn't make the link there yeah it's tricky it's tricky but if you hand fly it it's not too bad Yuri hello welcome to the stream how are you love for me to do Sri Lankan Airlines aircraft but there are not any good sceneries and there never will be there might be one day Satira there might be one day Colombo's a big airport someone's bound to make it I think and I'll do it when they do that way you have a better idea of everything it's true it's true that is that is the sensible grown up way to do things <laughs> but what if I get there and I don't have enough money yeah you know what is it, £59? I suppose it's not inconceivable that I could uh, make that money tonight in the way of donations via streamlabs.com slash flies. It's not inconceivable, not likely, but you never know, it might happen. <laughs> you hope all pay where for the sim ends up in the MS Marketplace. I don't like the Marketplace, to be honest. I'd love it all to end up on Orbex Direct. What's PBE? Would be cool for a Russia flight, though. You've never seen anyone take... I, honestly, Leon, I'd love to fly to Russia. I bet that Javieski Designs brings his um, his Moscow airports over. That's bound to happen at some point, and then I will fly to Russia. I used to fly... Or I could maybe fly there in P3D. I will give it some thought. 
but one day I can promise I will fly to Russia. I wouldn't. I, I don't know. It's, it's a popular tourist destination, Sri Lanka. I'd really like to go. In <laughs> India, <yeah>, well. <laughs> hint, hint, slash, beg, beg. It's kind of on the cusp there, wasn't it, mate? So I felt, I felt a little bit dirty saying it. To be honest, I won't say it again. Welcome back, Riley. market is a bit uh, a bit old-fashioned it's true oh really there we are there we are I'll hold off until next month I didn't know that careful thank you this week you reckon I guess next month is this week isn't it <laughs> yeah you could be the angel on my shoulder and the devil on careful's shoulder then balance it out yin and yang oh I see yeah. there's not a huge flies in the community there I'm sure but I'm sure in previous sims there was at least a Colombo scene oh Satira thank you so much for the donation that's very kind of you indeed very kind of you um, can I make the character limit longer? I honestly don't know. Possibly. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Jamaica coming up. Do you fly uh, any other Sims Max at the moment? Yeah, not far, not far to Jamaica. Oh, did I? I well, I'm sorry. I have a memory like a sieve castle. What can I say? I can only apologise. There are a few good airports in Eastern Europe. There are, there are. That one in um, uh, where was it? Lviv. That that Lviv airport. That was fantastic. Same guys done Kiev, which I haven't yet flown to. Which looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, the Ukraine's quite well covered. I'm amazed DD haven't done uh, any of their Polish airports yet, to be honest. So did I, Ben. So did I. That's how I interpreted it. Oh yeah, Tivat as well. Yeah, yeah. Used to fly X Plane the Zebra almost every day, but life got busy and then MSFS came. And you've not looked back since, Max? But Ben got you to consider going back from the centre. He is he is a bad influence. He really is. I, I vowed I would never go back to P3D and then he started spending money on it and I thought well I've already got it so it'd be silly not to reinstall it and I reinstalled it but I said well I'm definitely not spending money on add-ons for it because it's old news and then I saw add-ons I really wanted and started spending money on add-ons so yeah yeah it's not good really it's not good but I am enjoying it but it's almost tempted you right He's making Krakow, is he? Okay, that's good. Right, shall we? Oh, I hope this cloud isn't going to completely cover Jamaica. That would be awful. Diego, are you still here? Are you are you ready to come and talk to us a little bit about uh, about Medellin and yourself and the scenery? Oh, 
he sent me a Discord message. Ah, he has. Right, let's uh, let's get him on the line. Let's get in the cockpit so it's quieter and we can hear him. Diego, hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Ah, welcome, welcome to the stream. This is a first for me, having someone on stream with me. It's quite exciting. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, and you? Yeah, very well. Thanks. Can Can you turn yourself up at all? You're a little bit quiet. My, my mic? Yeah. And I'll turn the music off. That'll help as well. I can't hear you at all now. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to set it up to see if I can hear okay. more. It's not, it, it, you, you are audible. It would just be good if you could be a tiny bit louder, I think. Oh, it's not 100%. It's weird. That's all right. What I'll do is I'll turn the sim down a tiny bit and then... Okay. And then, yeah, that's better. Then we can, uh, then we can hear each other. So, yes, t tell us a little bit about yourself and when did you start developing scenery? Well, I've been an uh, enthusiast of the flight simulator since uh, 1998. Uh, mm. Since FS-98, that was my first simulator. And I'm, I'm Colombian, so I remember uh, the story I tell everybody. My dad bought me the, the pack that came with the simulator. And there was a pack of airports for Colombia. Like, you had the whole pack and then I then had them all until FSX right. then I kind of didn't have time after that my computer got a little bit outdated so mm. then I st stopped flying the simulator like about five years ago and okay. then I came back once this one came out got my new computer and all that stuff yeah and I started uh, making airports for like that were missing in Colombia, like small airports, like small runways, like for VFR flying and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Until I met this guy that he also made another airport for Colombia, but he's actually French. He makes the 3D models. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's the one I partnered with, and uh, and then I say, why don't we just start making airports? And he started showing me the models he was already building for this airport that we're gonna see the. From Medellin, the, the two airports, because Medellin has two airports. We've made them both. They have one that's a regional one inside the city, and then there's another one that's the international one. Okay. That's the one we're going to. So this is a um, newer airport we're going to, is it? Yeah, it's newer, yes. Yeah, and, um, okay. And um, so we started working on it, and uh, he makes the models. I make everything else, like the runways, the taxiways, the markings, the... Uh, lighting and then uh we we went from there we started putting them on scene market yeah uh, and then uh i got approved to, for the marketplace okay and, and they've been there for about a month or so right uh, so yeah, this so th this is the first sim that you've developed airports for yeah i i, I play around with the other ones but never like to release them to the public or anything you know yeah and then i uh, since this one came out uh, from the from the beginning, I started playing around with the SDK. And, okay. And, and then I um, I've been actually we've been actually in my Discord we have a chat with all the people who want to develop in this like airports from Colombia or, or Latin America because there's really not a lot of uh, information in Spanish, you know. Right. All the, all the forums, all the all the chats mm. are in English. You mm. Know? Mm. Yeah. And then people want have a question here and there, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? So we just try to help each other. Yeah. Uh, and and to, to make it more fun for everybody, for the community, you know. Yeah. The, the, the pe people say, oh, this little airport, this little runway from my small town is not in the same. Mm. You know? And so, so uh, you're helping them to, to yes. correct that, basically. Yeah. Nice. nice. So, so we have these two airports that are for sale in Sin Market. Mm. And the marketplace but yeah. we also have a few of them that are on a, in a flight team that to the, the freeware website for, okay for, oh, that's for, nice. yeah, i'm sure you heard of it yes yeah yeah, yeah. 
I should just uh, say, Keffel has pointed out that I totally forgot about bimbles around Britain. This was my, um, I did a VFR tour of the UK and I did it as a group flight. So it's completely untrue to say I've never had anyone on a stream with me. What I mean is <laughs> I haven't had anyone in this sort of situation, uh, you know, a developer coming on to, to talk about this stuff. So it is something new, but uh, it was what I said originally was completely untrue. Thank you, Keffel, for pointing that out. And yes, we should ha totally have ponds around Poland. That would be good. So, uh, w which part of uh, which part of the world are you from? Are you Colombian yourself? I'm Colombian, but I'm not from Medellin. I'm from a small city called Tunja. Okay. It's a, uh, it's two hours north of Bogota. Uh, there's really no a lot of aviation there. Okay. On. But, but I don't know. I was always passionate about this. I don't mm. live in Colombia anymore. I live in Florida. In oh right. Oh, this is a good flight for you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. No, I, you know, I started watching people online. I found you and I found all of uh, a few of other streamers, you know. Mm. Um, I actually have a streaming channel too, not as big. So oh, right. Yeah. I, I do it casually. I, we do a lot of group flights and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Some of my friends are there. I saw them in the chat earlier, like Andres and Captain Caval. And yeah, it's nice, nice Mateo, of them to come along. Uh, yeah, and several. I saw Martin. Mm. So, so a few of the guys that they, they have talked to me in the past. So. That's nice. Yeah, it's, it's good. I, I I pass the voice along so they can enter the the, the the draw for the for the airport because I'm sure most of some there's some people who want it and they still don't have it. So. Oh right, they, nice. They, here's their chance, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I, I saw some names I didn't recognize that sounded uh, Spanish. So, yes. I hope. I, it, I hope. Um, <laughs> here we are. Andres says. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's very nice to have you all along, and uh, I hope that either one of your friends or one of my friends wins it. This is the trouble with giveaways. You often get a lot of people who you don't know yeah. who turn up just for the giveaway, and it's always <laughs> a bit of a shame, you know. But uh, yeah, good. Well, thank yeah. you very much for giving us a couple of copies to give away. That's kind of it. No, and I'll stay there in the chat and, and thank you for, for doing this. And, uh, you know, thank you for flying to Colombia. It's, it's really fun to fly there. If you want to, you can do more flights over there. It's very diverse, like the, with the mountains, with the, the approaches, the, you know. Yeah, the, I'd love to. The standard love to. departures because there's, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, mountains. Mm. Mm. Uh, this valleys, there is, you know, beaches and stuff like that. Oh, stuff like that. It's a lot of things that with this simulator, it's it's very nice to see. Yeah. So. Do you know I've done a little bit of VFR flying around Colombia, um, because I'm part of a, a discord called MSFS Bush Pilots. I don't know if you've come across. Okay, them. I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, and they're doing a tour of of South America. Um, the whole the whole continent so they started i think in venezuela and we flew through a bit of colombia and they're sort of zigzagging their way south and i i don't have as much time as i used to to fly with them but what i saw was beautiful and it, yeah it did convince me i should go back yeah so so actually we're doing a, a tour around the world mm. so we started in panama panama city in, in panama and then we started going through the u.s we went up to Greenland, Ireland, and went to the UK, and now we're doing a, a tour of Europe. Oh, nice. And our idea is to tour the whole world one day. Right. You know, might take hundreds of flights, but it doesn't matter. We're here to stay, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, good for you. So, so um, do you fly? You're doing bad thing, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. You have your multiplayer on we're, we're trying to fly along like with some of our friends but um, I, I don't know if we can see you in the no I don't have multiplayer on just that so okay okay yeah, yeah it complicates it things to use both I think yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, I wondered where I wondered if people knew I was flying on Vatsim or not and they obviously didn't that's a bit of a shame because I know you said some people were coming along and, and they're not here so but I'm glad you're here on multiplayer anyway that's good yeah yeah so we'll, we'll keep there to try to keep up with you there and um, great I'll, I'll try to stay on the chat there answering some questions in Spanish if some people have some yeah questions. that would be great can, can you tell us before you go anything about Medellin well Medellin is the second largest city in Colombia right uh, 
it's, it's, it's a really nice place. I, I've only been there a couple times in my life, but, but it's a really... What would you call it? Like a... Like a... Like growing. It's, it's really... Like trying to find a word for that. Like a... Like they they very going to like being more modern modern and stuff like that. Okay. Like so it, up up and coming. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. uh, uh, and, and and it's really nice. People over there are really nice. The weather is mm. really nice, and, uh, and they have a lot of places to go and sightsee and stuff. Like one of the points of interest in the sim, actually probably the only one point of interest in the sim that was added by default was the, the rock of Watape. This is it's a huge rock. It's, it's only a few miles off the airport where we're going. Okay. And, uh, and, and just, it has, let me see how many, you can get, you can go to the top of it. And, right. Uh, what did you say it was called? Uh, the rock of Watape. Rock see, of Watape. Ah, yes, I see it. Let's see if I find it here. And um, that place has... that You can go to the top of it, and it has 649 steps to get to the top. Wow. It's that's the only way you can get on top of it. Yeah. And then, and then when you're up there, they did this uh, reservoir, so all these tips of the of the mountains became like little islands. Oh, okay. So people made houses there, their Airbnbs and stuff. It's really, really nice. Mm. If, if you can check it out, just Google it. And yeah, I'm looking on uh, Google Maps on my iPad now. It does look pretty, pretty spectacular. Yeah, it's called Peñol, Piedra del Peñol, like stone. Oh yes, Andres just said, yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew, yeah. A lot of love for Colombia in the chat here. Uh, Dingo says Bogota is one of his favourites. Steve says uh, SKBG is one of his favourites, which is which is Palo Negro, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to. Our next airport is going to be Cartagena. Oh, really nice, 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 yeah. And then uh, after that, we're going to try to work on Bogota but that's a huge that's a huge airport that's a lot of work yeah. it's going to take a few months to get it done but we'll, that's something we want because it's some an airport that people have requested a lot so. mm. yeah I bet and and do you enjoy the, the process of creating these sceneries or is it a bit of a yeah, chore yeah. but worth it I, I, I have to find a balance between between because uh, I love flying too. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. find a balance between flying in the sim and working on them yeah but I enjoy it because you know even some of the guys some of our friends some of my friends mm. and from my from my channel they they see me editing and then they they say oh look it's coming out pretty nice you should do this line here and they send me pictures of like satellite images or if they flown there if they flown there like they if they've been to that airport they send me pictures and say hey look this is how the gates look like this is yeah how the, the platform looks like so it's fun it's fun it's fun to make it look like the real thing that's what people like you know yeah so. yeah yeah but it can take over your life quite easily i imagine yeah i know and, and yeah. i do this in my spare time you know mm. Mm. that's really good i mean i found the same i found that i was spending so much time making videos on youtube of you know doing reviews and i used to do a monthly freeware focus and i just wasn't flying planes and and so I cut yeah. down a lot. I cut down a lot on the pre-recorded stuff. Focus more on the streaming, because that's what it's all about. And it's yeah, that that's the fun bit, isn't it? Really. And it, and it is fun because when I started my my streaming channel, I was like, I want to show people who don't have the same. Uh, obviously, in Latin American and Spanish community. Not everybody has the the money to build a to mm. computer to run this. Mm. They they fly the B3D or the X-Plane yeah. or whatever in the, the beginning when the sim came out they were like oh, I want to see my city on the sim so, so. I, yeah. I share this story with and write relay with some of the other streamers in Latin America that they say 
yeah i did it because of that so we can show people how it is how it looks yeah that's nice. people love it you know and yeah what better reason to fly than to show people where they live and what it looks like? I, I have a question for you from uh, Christopher. He'd like to know if there are any good tutorials to learn how to model airports in MSFS. There is, uh, here on YouTube, there's a few, uh, I follow some, yeah, he knows English, so he, there's a few tutorials. Yeah. The couple of guys that are pretty popular here, I forgot their names, Flying Season, I think is his name or something. If if you look SDK to you search a SDK tutorial MSFS, yeah, you you find them, and there are people who have a series of videos like from the basics, okay, from like just how to make, how to start, just put it the wrong way there, and then they go from like lesson to lesson until you can put your models in, and mm. put lights and connect the taxiways and all that stuff. I I watch most of them because you need to, if you wanna make them. But I recommend starting with the basics, you know. Yeah. And would you, sorry, did you say a name? Did you, or you were sort of halfway to a name? Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can find him here. Oh, YouTube. okay. And I can actually sh probably share his link. With them. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. YouTube's a bit funny about sharing links in the chat, but try. Oh, really? And if that's not, true, you can. That's true, that's true. You can type I'll his name. His name. Yeah, yes. that'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Kai, all right, no worries. Enjoy your landing into Talaman. And uh, hello to Remove Before Flight. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, great. Here well, is the name. Sorry, who? I'm going to put it there in the chat. Okay, great. Thank okay. you. Thanks. There you go. There it is. Ah, oh, brilliant. There you are, Christopher. Um, fantastic. Well, th thank you once again for giving us a, these uh, freebies to give away. And, uh, oh no, no! It's been thank very nice for, to uh, chat to you. Thank you for uh, doing this for us. And, and, uh, <laughs> no I worries. hope whoever wins the airport uh, enjoys it. And, uh, and uh, you share my Discord on your description there of the video. I so did. If yeah. If anybody wants, if anybody who speaks Spanish or English wants to join my channel too, there there is the link for yeah. my Discord. And uh, and then, or you can just. I don't know if you can click on a, on the name on the chat. I have a YouTube channel too, so if you gonna yeah, you people wanna. should be able to. Um, yeah. But but yes, failing that in the video description, as you say, is a link to your Discord. There's also a link to the product page on Sim Market, so yeah. uh, people should be able to find you. And uh, yeah, all right. So <laughs> I'll stay here on the chat. I'm I'm actually following you on the plane, so I uh, or you're following me. I'm not all sure. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you there, okay? Yeah, great. Have a good flight. Speak to you later. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. You. Bye. Oh, very nice, Blake. Right. So, how are we doing with the flight? And what have I missed in the chat? Do you, do you have tutorials, Max? I honestly didn't know that. Flying Theston, there we are. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Diego. Appreciate it. I think he's recommending himself, uh, Christopher, but I didn't know he did this. Oh, you're sending the link. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were recommending yourself there. <laughs> anyway, let me see if I can uh, find this bloke. Flying Fester, because I can post links in the chat, just no one else can, and I can't change that. It's not that I don't trust you all. There you are. It was, wasn't it, Simon? Yeah. Yeah, it was well worth doing. It's, it's strange, isn't it? You you invite these people onto your stream. You don't know anything about them. Right? I'd never spoken to him, but it was well worth doing. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It was nice. <laughs> I do get to post links. Um, I think can mods post links as well? I'm not sure. Initially, when I found that no one could post links, I thought there must be a setting in YouTube that would allow me to enable people to do that, but 
I don't think there is. It's just a YouTube thing. Only special people are allowed. <laughs> oh dear. Sure you trust a whole bunch? Well, I don't trust a whole bunch of random people from the internet. It's true. It's true. I guess there's a reason. I guess there is a reason. Maybe I'm just too trusting. Hello, Garlic Games. Nice to see you. How are things? Honestly, can you imagine if you could ban me from my own channel? That would be... That would be all... Well, it'd be awful for me, but it'd be even worse for the rest of you. Because what would you do with your lives? <laughs> can mods post links? I'm sure we've had... I've, I did know the answer to this question, but I can't remember. Thank you, PN Van Vrain. I shall do my best to. Welcome to the stream. Right, now I just have to turn my sim sound up again. That feels about right, I think. Your plane's done a turn. Uh, uh, did you just change the star or the arrival in? Because that's what I had yesterday. And yeah, sometimes, or if you did a direct to, that can do it as well. But if you redo the direct to, it seems to pick it up. It's very, very dodgy at the moment. That's just the reality. We're not cancelling Phil, but no. He's <laughs> still on something else. Yeah, it's true. That's the trouble, isn't it? That is the trouble. Sometimes... Oh, hang on. Ben, you're not allowed to give me money. I've told you this before. Except on my birthday. But thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> the rest of you are allowed to give me money. <laughs> 15 pounds. Oh, bless you. That's very, very kind. Thanks. It does, Simon. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you just put the arrival. There we are. That's what's done it. If you do a direct two, you should be able to get back on track. Unless it's deleted your whole route, which is what, ha what happened to me yesterday. Um, but didn't happen to me today. It's true. It's true. This is very much Rioja music. Or Sangria. Guilt money. <laughs> yeah. Guilt money for waving his ban hammer around. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't, Kami. I don't. I don't bother because we have uh, AOC. Don't we? Which saves all of the uh, stuff. Uh, sorry, not AOC. Yeah, what am I talking about? Should be on our init B page. Yeah, so it's got our out and in times and all the rest of it. No, that's not what I'm looking at. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the FS Labs. I'm just getting confused about stuff. There is a page where it where it saves all your times, I'm sure. And that's why the uh, chrono button is, is redundant on modern planes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, quarter of the way there. Probably a little further, actually. Let's see, let's see what we've done today. So Satira has given £4.30, very kindly. Simon has given £7.63. So we're, we're almost halfway there, actually. We're almost halfway there to the cost of the uh, Dash 8. Look at your Volanta. I shall, I shall, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, so with someone will let me plug my computer. It doesn't who needs a house? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I've got to show people this. Hang on, how do I do it? That's brilliant. So it seems you're back on track now. This is what Ian's plane has just done. <laughs> so it was turning back right to the beginning of the flight plan from the looks of it. Yeah, not good, not good. God love the uh, A32NX, eh? Simon's showing up twice for some reason. And uh, Ian's there. Who else have we got? Anyone else coming? Where's Jamie? Is that him? Is that him at Kingston? No. Jamie, where are you in relation to the rest of us? It does look, yeah, it looks like a large but uh, intentional hole plan. Uh, welcome to the stream, server. Nice to have you. Call that an unplanned spacing. Yeah. Meta says towering cumulus at 200 feet. What? That is the last thing we need. That is really the last thing we need, isn't it? You're right, though. <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll be able to avoid them. <laughs> yeah. Apparently so, Christopher. Apparently so. I didn't notice you on Volanta, Kobe, no. But I'm sure you're there. You just passed Jamie, but you're pretty much still straight over him. Oh, okay. I must have misread what I was seeing. Oh, yeah, there's Jamie. Sorry, I thought you were the American Airlines for some reason, but that's, yeah, you're not. That's Jamie, and that's you. Okay, cool. And, yeah, there's Ian, and... Kami, are you, are you flying British Airways from Miami to Medellin at 42,000 feet? <laughs> well... Each to their own. Ian is uh, Mandalorian. He's uh, he's in the chat. He's uh, he's here with us. Hang on, wait. Sorry, I've missed loads of chat. Uh, wouldn't happen. <laughs> Not showing it right yet, right? Well, there's only one thing we can do now. AP2 and pray a lot. <laughs> yeah. Clearly you just have to descend to 200 feet before the clouds start. Yeah, that's, that's one way of doing it. Uh, that's something wrong when you go when you don't go for a waypoint properly it does it it also does it whenever you change anything later in your flight plan at the moment only in the a32nx as far as i'm aware mind you i only really fly this in the cj4 and the crj and those latter two have custom autopilot so i wouldn't really know i should have flown yeah the crj or the cj4 would have been good uh, anybody tried the turbo arrow is it worth it 
I haven't tried it, but I have bought it. I'm going to try it tomorrow. It looks very good. I'm pretty sold. Pretty convinced. Yes, TCAS does work now, apparently. Uh, I'm not close enough to anyone to see, I don't think, at the moment. But yeah, it does. Oh, I didn't know they retired their 767s. I always think of them as a huge, huge 767 operator. There we are. Times change. Ah, oh, you're flying Delta. You're just, for some reason, showing up as a generic 78 for me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Tom, there's a there's a there's a code. So what you do is you go to your. Um, like your my orders page on just fly or whatever it's called and then you go to your piper your original piper arrow order and on that page you'll now find a code so you put that in when you buy it i'm glad you're enjoying it ben. good evening good evening or good morning finbar nice to see you again how are things I haven't marked, no, but I am a bit intrigued by it. But at the same time, Aerosoft's Twin Otter is round the corner. Is it Aerosoft who's doing the Twin Otter? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm, I, I kind of see them as similar sorts of planes and I'd rather have a Twin Otter, so I'm, I'm saving my cash. No worries to let us know what you think if you buy it and fly it now. I saw... Who was that guy he recommended to me earlier, Steve? He did the review and the flight. That was... Uh... That was what sold it to me. Blue... Flying Blue Simulations or something? Anyway, some guy on YouTube flew it and I thought, yeah, I want it. American Airlines retired all of their 77 due to the pandemic. Ah, right. Oh, at least, right, good. At least there's a few still in America. Bon appétit, Ben. Bon appétit. See you in a bit. Definitely going to do Kathmandu to Luke. Yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. I hadn't even thought. I keep, I keep hearing of routes that you can do in a Twin Otter. I was mostly just excited about flying it to the Silly Isles. But I think I need to be a little bit more imaginative. Lucky guy, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Fly by wire, I can say that quite confidently removed before flying. Into the blue simulations, yeah. He did a review of it and it looks, it looks really nice. Ah, oh, you had more reward points than I did. But even though, I, I think I got it down to £8.25 or something. It is, a, it is a real bargain. It is a real bargain. I don't, I, well I have in the past, Kami, but I haven't used it for a while since like before the pandemic. But it's a really good idea. It's a really good idea. And I should probably get back into it. For those of you who don't know what this is, Too Good To Go is an app that you can download and restaurants and cafes and shops, when they have stock left over that would otherwise go to waste, put it on there for a really cheap price and then you just go and pick it up. And it's, you get sort of, a, it's a little bit random. You get whatever's left over. But generally, it's good quality stuff. Uh, 
Just a little reminder about supporting the channel, as well as subscribing and giving it a thumbs up, uh, which would be great. You can also make a donation via streamlabs.com slash philbertflies. I am apparently now saving up for the Dash 8, um, and we're getting there, thanks to people's generous donations. So if you'd like to chip in a little bit to that, that would be much appreciated. Streamlabs.com slash philbertflies. You can also join Club Philbert, which is my YouTube membership program, which is a very, very cheap but very, very fun way to support the channel. Uh, I have two tiers, Club Philbert Bronze and Club Philbert Gold. On both tiers, you get access to private members only channels on my Discord. You also get custom emojis and custom badges to use in YouTube chat and in YouTube comments. If you join Silver, in addition to all of that, you get a monthly private members only live stream which is always a lot of fun. Uh, I say live stream, it's become more of a group fly to be honest. So you can either watch or you can fly along. It's usually about five or six of us flying. And if you'd like to do that, then you can just click the join button below the um, video. So yeah, silver's the one to go for really. Um, if only Greg's did that. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't, to be honest. Dash 8 is 59 quid, I think, Tom. 59 pounds, something like that. I don't know, I'm going to look it up. Majestic Dash 8. Pro edition, which is the one I want, is £59.99. Oh, do I keep saying gold? Do I? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I meant... Ugh, what an idiot. I meant I've got bronze and silver at the moment. Bronze is £1.99. Silver is £5.99. <laughs> you got the gist of it, right? And Streamlabs has just very kindly pointed out what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Simon. I agree. I know, but I don't want to create a gold unless I can think of something that would actually make it worth £10. And I just don't think my toenail clippings is is what you're looking for, nor my bath water. I, I know it's not really about what you get, it's about supporting the channel, but still, it feels like a lot of money to ask for, for just, you know, for not much extra, do you know what I mean? UX Voice, welcome back. Satira, no problem at all. Sleep well. Thank you for coming. I'll see you soon. Personal massages. <laughs> That's going to be platinum. I've got a few things planned for Club Phil that platinum, Christopher. It's, it's the intermediate tier that I'm struggling with. I just can rail tickets. If only I could, Steve. If only I could get them for myself, never mind anyone else. Yeah, yeah, but th these are the kind of suggestions people come up with, Max, you see? Pots of bath water and uh, toenail clippings. I can't work with that. Joystick sweats. <laughs> oh dear. It's true, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Tom! No way! Tom, you little treasure! Dish tosh dash. <laughs> Dish tosh dash. That's so... That is... That is incredible. Thank you so, so much. There we are. That's the Dash 8 paid for. You are a very, very kind and generous man, Tom. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, left speechless by your generosity. I don't know what to say. There we are. There we are. Job done. 
How about some of your hair and free <laughs> I mean, I can do all of these things. I have no qualms at all about, about sending you joystick sweat, hair, toenails and bath water for a reasonable monthly fee. Actually, that's not true. I do have some qualms. I do have some qualms. But I'd probably do it if the price was right. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. Cat hair, yeah? That I could also do. That's something slightly less creepy about that. It's still weird, but it's less creepy. Well, it's much appreciated, Tom. It's, it's great to, it was great to have you back anyway, uh, aside from the donation. Uh, I'm glad you're still kicking about and doing all right. Good evening, Scott. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Can you imagine? God, a little clone of me. I'd quite like a clone, actually. I'd like to do the streams myself and have a clone do the pre-recorded videos for me. I'm not... I mean, £10 a month is not enough for me to take up knitting, Steve. Ben, you have... Uh, you have taken things to the next level with that. That is grim. <laughs> yeah, an action doll. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. Yeah. It's all going. It's all going pretty well so far. Um, if you would like to enter the competition, Scott, or indeed anyone who has joined since I last talked about the competition, uh, we're giving away two copies of V Pilots uh, SKRG. Uh, Jose Maria Cordoba scenery in Medellin, Colombia. And to enter, all you have to do is answer the following questions. In which year did the airport open? In which year did SKRG Airport open? Type the answer to that in the chat and you'll be in with a chance of winning. The draw will take place after we've shut the engines down at the end of the stream and uh, all the terms and conditions are linked to in the video description. So make sure you read them before entry. Close, Tom. Close. Yeah, yeah, other than that, Steve. Wait, what did I want to do? Change the wing view, I think. We haven't had another different wing view for a while. Ben, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. And lucky guy, I think I missed your sub as well. Uh, nice to have you both here. you've been around since that stream of you Ben nice yeah that was a good I enjoyed that approach it was spectacular haven't done any flying in Australia for a while actually I'm starting to wonder if I might have enough Australian viewers now to do a do a morning stream at some point like morning my time afternoon your evening your time much like that yeah I think I think most most sane people would, uh, Simon. <laughs> you know he doesn't have legs or arms though, right? And I don't know really how to do convincing legs or arms. I can do circles, that's about it. <laughs> but maybe that doesn't matter. I mean, he wouldn't do much in the way of action. that 
that bar at the top is showing 2120 as our arrival time when it's... Oh no, that's right, it's 2120 GMT, uh, BST now. So about an hour left, I believe, about an hour left of the flight to go. Would he have eagle eyes? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I remember the hill well then. Hello, Physics IL 90. Welcome, how are you? Don't you worry, uh, top of descent should be in about half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. So we've got 470 nautical miles to go. Be there at 19.57 sim time, so in about an hour and three minutes. So yes, top of descent about 25 minutes before then, I imagine. It's a big upgrade that Action Man had way back. Lever in the back. Oh, right, yeah, I can picture that. Um, I, do you know, I w honestly wouldn't know where to begin with getting a, an action figure of, of Phil that created. <laughs> But yeah, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's say yes. I'm gonna call it a day. Great stream as well. Oh, thanks, Max. Cheers. Well, it's been very nice to see you as always, and uh, I'll see you soon. I'm sure. I should do a return flight from Hobart back to Sydney, shouldn't I? Be good. Maybe one morning I'll do that. I think tomorrow, let me know your thoughts on this, but tomorrow I'd quite like to fly the CJ4 again from Oxford to Samadan. I'll probably do that at 1200 Zulu, 1300 UK time, if that appeals. Hello Ryan, how are you? The beach at the runway 30 side is called Seven Mile. Oh, okay. Jamie Hampton, thank you very much for the sub. You hate why the A320 speed limit is 270. Well, it's it's around that indicated, but... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to move that bar. But we're doing 446 knots ground speed, you know, which isn't too bad. But yes, it's certainly... 0.78 Mach is, is certainly a relatively slow cruising speed. Let's have a look at how we're doing with entries to the competition. 41 correct entries so far. Not bad odds as things stand. 1 in 20.5. One in right, I'm going to take another short break to eat some chocolate, get a drink, back in a moment.
and I am back. Yes, I noticed that as well, Steve. People didn't stop speaking, but it was certainly a lot quieter after you after you went AWOL. <laughs> it is remarkable. I know, it is remarkable. Are we on Colombian airspace or not yet? Um, I imagine we are. Let's have a quick look at the charts, shall we? So we are in the Barranquilla FIR, SKEC. I guess I guess that is Colombian airspace, right? Not a hundred percent sure, but I, I think it is. Must be, right? Yeah. Or is it Panamanian? I'm not entirely sure. No, Panama FIR's there, yeah. So I'm gonna say yes we are in Colombian airspace. Hello, spectacular flying, how are you? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's true, Mark, it's true. We all tried our best. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Will. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting place names in there. Australia. I guess these all come from Aboriginal languages, do they? Right, we're going to have something a bit more upbeat music-wise because I'm starting to feel a bit sleepy as well. Uh, let me just try and find something. I don't think I have any upbeat playlists. I don't even know what to say. Right, I'm just we're just gonna we're just gonna try some things out. This is a playlist called In Exciting Endeavours. See how it goes, see how it goes. Yes, ah, Fimba, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very close, Ben. Very, by the way, by the way, I'm buying the, um, I'm buying the Dash 8 now, thanks to, thanks to Tom's generosity. It's happening, it's happening tomorrow. Well, and yours as well. But uh, Tom tops it up. Or oh, people who didn't get record. Hello, Abbe. Welcome to the stream. That's very upbeat, this, isn't it? Very upbeat. Does it now? Interesting. Is there any Wagga Wagga scenery for uh, P3D? I suppose that's the next the next question. Indeed, change of plan for Wednesday. And I couldn't be more pleased, to be honest with you, the way this plane's flying at the moment. He might be, Steve. He might be. Although if he is, I think he's been a little tight to be honest. <laughs>
You should have flown the A321. What, an MSFS? Is it any good? I thought it wasn't up to much. Oh, or do you mean the FS Labs? Because I could have flown, I couldn't have flown that really to give away an MSFSC. Would have been a bit weird. Could have just done it and then spawned an MSFS afterwards, I suppose. <laughs> Love vlog music. Yeah. I don't even know how what I would describe this music as. It is the sort of thing you'd put behind some sort of photo montage, really, isn't it? Oh, you bought the tow list, say, 322. Now you find it. Oh, I missed you, Demetrius. Welcome back. You didn't fall asleep, I'm pleased. ETF 1957, it's now 1805, so less than, less than an hour to go. Yeah, you can, you can educate me, it'd be good fun. Did I, did I mispronounce it, other Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> Just use MSFS purely for drone flying around airports. Love it, it's a lot different than fly by rather. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I think that could be an accent thing, Ben. I would pronounce single G as Wagga Wagga, two G's as Wagga Wagga. I don't know how else to say it. The G sound like G A. Wagga Gaga. Wagaga Wagaga? Huh? No. They, yeah, they, well I am. That's, that's what I am, Steve. I can't help it. I still, what? what? The, the COVID baby that I still haven't got rid of? Tell you what, Ben, those kinds of prices, when neither of us is ever going to be able to retire, <laughs> you need to put them up. <laughs> is the pilot drunken? No, Marcus, the pilot is not drunken. The pilot has had two lagers over the course of two hours and is stone cold sober. What looks diseased? You've lost me. I thought you meant when I said word gagger I sounded like a COVID baby. But now I don't know what you mean by it looks diseased. You're scared the only thing that you hear since your return is... 
I, I've given up now, Demetrius. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, this evening, I've been drinking Hop House 13, which is one of my favourite lagers. I don't often drink lager to this, but on a hot day, just can't beat it. Your thingy this thing looks diseased. I mean, I still don't know what you're talking about. I think, have you been on the recce, Steve? Oh, that thing! That sorry, because I don't see emojis in restream chat. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I've got to get rid of that. I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, my emoji. It is weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna replace that at some point. I don't know what with the whole or something. Yeah, because I just see love. I just see love like you do on the video. And I thought you were just doing heart emojis, to be honest with you. But I know what you mean. It does look diseased. It does look very ill with you. You can see me, can you? Let's see if I can see you. Are you above me or below me? Below me, I guess. No, why can't I see you? So we've got myself and then Simon directly behind. Maybe it's Simon. No, hang on, you are Simon. <laughs> got Simon and then Jamie. And then Ian bringing up the rear. And Kami somewhere. I don't know where. Let's see if I can see him on the tea press. No. Bro, when are you going to reach the airport? Um, in about 50 minutes, something like that. Doesn't be that time we both went. No, that was quite balletic. That was that was a highlight. That was Steve. <laughs> no, sadly not so. I might later on then. Down lower, I might see uh, strobes. No, no sign, sadly. This music's a little bit blah. I want something that's upbeat, but also not totally vacuous. Do you know what I mean?
don't want vocals. Love, sweat, fitness, endless summer workout. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'm going to try a song. And if it's good, we'll find more like it. Yeah, it is. TCAS on BLW. TCAS shouldn't require a bubble below, should it? It should. I would have thought it was a hole, but it's not. Let's have a look at that. But TCAS doesn't look behind you, does it? It just does an arc ahead of you, I think. So I wouldn't necessarily see him anyway. within 20 miles. I can't remember what the range of it is. I don't think we'd see anything behind. But I'm not certain. I might be wrong there. Oh, is it on a lake or something, Ben? Yeah, but not behind you, does it, Marcus? Okay, that's Did not know that. Best game mode, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the song. Thank you to the person with Arabic script that I can't read as well for subscribing. So you're saying that if you if you have it in all, then it shows 2700, but, but if you have it in above or below, then it'll show you 9900. something every day.
pretty close then. Pretty, I mean, you're getting warmer, put it that way. Getting warmer. So, latest weather in Medellin. Uh, wind 050 at 7 knots, so a bit of a crosswind it's going to be now. A uh, few clouds at 200 feet, towering cumulonimbus as before. Broken clouds at 2,000 two, uh, 2, feet. Temperature of 22, QNH of 1023. And then in the remarks we've got TCU slash SW slash W. And I don't know what that is. Not something I've come across before. Tiring cumulonimbus, perhaps. Oh, maybe it just... Right, okay. We're just going to assume that there is tiring cumulonimbus to the southwest and the west. That would make sense. Yeah, I know, it's getting a little bit a little bit worrying the weather out here, isn't it? in your sim side. Or is this typical Microsoft Flight Simulator unrealistically high and thick cloud? Point of Atlanta signs ahead now. Oh really? <laughs> a, ve a very, very close point. Very close. Oh right. <laughs> Standard. No, I can't cave it. You have it. Uh, yeah, but you're also in MSFS. Simon's in um, X-Plane. Just curious about x -Plane. Oh, you live in Medellin, do you, Santiago? Awesome. Well, welcome to the street. Welcome to the street. I hope you enjoy the uh, approach. Simon is ahead according to Valenta. That's not me you're next to, Kami. That's, uh... I think it's, um... Jamie? Yeah. Uh, and what's your altitude? Oh, according to Valenta, I'm ahead of you again. You're at 37,000, so you should be about 2,000 feet below. So I really should be able to see you, right? Yes, I can't. Let's see, let's see if we can make the TCAS do anything. So we'll set it back to below. Although we shouldn't need to, because it's only a 2,000 foot difference. Ah, yes! 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 Here we are. I've just got ahead of you again, but you're there. Minus 2,200 feet. Awesome! Ah, uh, Santiago, to win, to be in with a chance of winning, you have to just type the year. Just the numbers, nothing else. Oh, 
with the Meta Expect wind shear on final. Yeah, it's a distinct possibility. Christ. Yeah, it'll be fine, maybe. <laughs> you do this through a lot of times, do you? Do you? Do you, uh, do you, so you're from Medellin, do you, do you live in Miami now, or you work in Miami, or? Oh no, you live in, you live in Medellin. You just visit Miami quite often, do you? Uh, let's get set up for the arrival, shall we? You have control. I have control. So, SKRG arrival. And uh, RNAV01 it is. And let me just have a quick look at the chart, check the transition. Ah, and this is where the plane starts ruining everything. Don't know where it thinks it's going. We're going to try and nip it in the bud. We wanted to go to Akpek. And we're back on track, although we've got an unusual looking line. It's a double line there, that's interesting, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll switch to plan mode, step through and try and work out what exactly is going on there. This is exactly the same problem I had earlier when I was arriving into uh, I keep wanting to say Lanzarote, but not Lanzarote. Uh, not Gran Canaria. Tenerife. Tenerife. So after Apkek, we want to go direct to Ipsas, which we've got. Then from Ipsas, we want to go to Vupsa, yes. Then Dontu, yes. Ah, but then it's got double Apkek, so it's trying to take us back there, and I bet it won't let me clear it then. Oh, it will. Second Ipsas. We don't want the second Whoopsa. We do want to go to Gemli. Then Kuknu, then Potka. Then Runway 1. That is correct. Hooray! I'm sure the altitudes won't be. And I'm sure now, where's it going now? It's going to Ipsas. We don't want it to go to Ipsas. Unless we have just passed. No, we want to go to Apkek. Oh, God, give me strength. <laughs> oh, we have passed Apkek. Must be a bit behind. No, we haven't. So it's just decided to miss out and can go straight to Ispas. But it's kind of on the same track, so that's fine.
Right, should be all right. Next thing we need to do is uh, set up for our arrival. I'm going to want to use auto brake medium today, uh, because especially if we're dealing with wind shear, we might have to... Yes, please do, Ben. We might have to... Uh, I don't know, I just like the idea of stopping quite quickly in this kind of weather. So, hence auto brake medium. There is no ILS uh, came here, it's just a localizer. You answer in the uh, in the chat, Santiago. Your recommended is showing top of descent in 80 miles. Nice. Uh, I might uh, I might do something similar. Sorry, there is an ILS, I just you can't access it from the star end. That was a complete lie. This is a Zulu and a Yankee ILS. Or rather Simbri doesn't think you can access. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm gonna do an ILS as well. Especially if we've got towering cumulus at 200 feet. It does say few, but we might potentially end up flying through one. Strangely, that uh, the Navigraph didn't get me at this much. There is, yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong there, uh, Danny. Um, it's just it's not in my database. <laughs> For some reason, it's only got the leg. Hmm. Okay, we'll stick with the R now. Don't know if this is a sim bug, a Navigraph nav data bug, a scenery bug, but there is no ILS showing. But will it work, Andres? Will it work? <laughs> bon chance, Dimitris. Bon chance. No, I didn't care. Okay. It is Marcus. If you subscribe to Navigraph, then yeah, you can use the uh, Navigraph beta data, um, and, and that will work with any aircraft that reads the data directly from the SIMS database, including this one. Okay, so we'll go over to our performance page now, and to the approach perf page, or the perf approach page. A QNH 1023. Temperature is 22. Wind is 0507. Transition altitude, we don't know, but we can make an educated guess based on the chart. Oh, it's going to be 180, isn't it? Same as the states. So easy peasy. us pretty much sorted for the approach, I think. So now we just have to look at our I have control. descent. You have control. Let's get our charts loaded up. So 
So we want the Act P1 Charlie arrival. So all of these take us to Dontu, we're coming in from here, and then we're going to try the RNP runway 0 one. Um, if you search Navigraph Beta MSFS Marcus, it comes up with a forum page where there's a link to download it. Runway 1, Santiago. Yeah, but I think it's going to be 180. I think it's going to be the same on the way up as the way down, probably. I, I guess it's the same as the States. I guess there's no harm in tuning the ILS frequency, is there? As a little backup sort of thing. 110.9. that the FMGC doesn't think it has a right side. So, what do we have in the way of constraints? So these are all at or above constraint, which is fine, you can work with that. Uh, and then at Gemli we want to be at 12,000 feet. And at Dontu. So 12,000 feet by Dontu. Let's see how well the old uh, fly pad is working. down at 11,000 feet, we need to start our descent 88 nautical miles before It was good luck, Demetrius. It was good luck. So, we're about 110 nautical miles from Dontu at the moment, so we, we don't have to start our descent just yet. This is a weird tune. No, you're behind me though, aren't you, Kami? So you wouldn't be. Unless you've overtaken me. Oh yeah, I'm behind. No worries, Ben. See you on the next one. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Demetrius, your English is, is almost perfect. It's def you're definitely ready to start on the French. Yeah, that's pretty standard, son.
be going down at about map 0.75, I think. Ah, 2.90 indicators. Apparently. Apparently. I have my doubts. Uh, how is it looking fuel-wise? Well, this page is saying I should have 6 tonnes end fuel on board. This is saying minus 1.2, but it said that earlier as well. So we got 2.3 tonnes. I think we're alright. I think that this, this used to be fairly accurate, but now it's not. I'm not overly worried, but thank you for the offer. Okay, I think we can start down now. And we're going to start down to our initial at or above, uh, which is 15,000 15, feet. That way there's no chance of us accidentally busting it in the spring. Don't forget those of you who haven't entered the competition and would like to, uh, it's not too late. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning um, the Pilot Designs Jose Maria Cordoba Medellin Airport is to answer the following question in the chat. In which year did SKRG Airport open? So the airport we're flying to, in which year did it open? What are you talking about, Tech Update? What was a technology update? Oh, you're here to self-promote. I think you are. Oh, well. should be at this stage. So where are we? We're coming up to Isthmus. We've just passed. We wanted to have two point we want to have two point nine tons of fuel on board. So we are lower on fuel than we'd like. But we're only expecting to burn 0.3 tons, no, 0.2 tons between here and the right, so we'll be fine. I'm fairly confident we'll be fine. <laughs> Hello, Matt. No, it's a long old flight, this one. How are you? No, it's 1.023. I think that'll do us for music. Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Not bad, not bad. We've got uh, towering cumulonimbus on approach at uh, 200 feet above ground level. So that's a little bit worrying, a little bit. <laughs> but it's going to be going to make for an exciting arrival anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, Santiago. Good luck with your with your basket class, and thank you for popping by. I'm sorry you won't get to see the landing in your home city, but hopefully you can catch up with it. I think you might be looking at the wrong airport, Kenya.
SKRG, Sierra Kilo Romeo Golf, that's where we're going. Explain's just sending you a message saying I have a blown out tyre. How did you manage that? <laughs> thank you, Edwin. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, Santiago. Yeah, it should be. It should be pretty spectacular, this one, I think. As long as I don't mess it up. Well, that's not the meta that the rest of us are getting, Kami. Yeah, it seems unusual that you get a blown out tyre just flying along, doesn't it? Yeah, anyway, good luck. As if you didn't have enough on your plate with this weather and the mountains. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no need to keep posting metas, Kevin. We've, we've all got the meta from uh, various sources. Thank you. Oh, no worries, Matt. It's a shame, but uh, enjoy your dog walk. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Pretty impressive clouds though, eh? Oh, hello engine. <laughs> That's how I ended up with that view. You've got 50 nautical miles to go. Okay, uh, we should be alright then, I think. So we want to be 12,000 feet at Domtu, as we said earlier, and at Gemli, then down to 9,700. And then we'll be looking at... what's our approach speed? Hundred and twenty seven knots. Abdullah, thank you for subscribing. Crew, Welcome to the channel. For arrival. Uh, so our approach speed is going to be hundred and twenty seven knots. So we're going to be looking at a descent rate of about six hundred and six hundred and eighty, six hundred and ninety, something like that. If we're doing 120 knots, we'd want a descent rate of 637 to maintain a three degree glide path. If we're doing 140, it'd be 743. So yeah, 680, 690, something like that. But hopefully we'll be visual, hopefully. Now, you should be able to tune, turn on the LS and that should then give you VNAV and RNAV guidance on the um, RNAV arrival. But I don't think it's going to work, but it might particularly not work because I've tuned the ILS frequency, I'm not sure. Right, passing through the transition level, uh, we'll set the uh, barometer to 1023 barometric pressure and we'll continue our descent. Going to go into the soups that we are. No clue, welcome, yes you've come at a good time, welcome to the stream. Yes I am on Vatsim. <laughs> Hello this normal username, nice to see you. How's life? Ah, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, 
Ah, was that you, Simon, making a direct? See, now the audio on, on VATSIM is really quiet. Or maybe it's just my headphones. I'll turn my headphones up a bit, because I think we got the balance about right. Right, back to our arrival chart. So, yes, we can go down further now to 13,000. Now, what's the plane doing? Has it done something weird? Yes, it's decided to go straight to the airport. So we'll go into selected heading mode. See if we can fix it. If we go direct on to, let's see what happens. Yeah, it seems to have fixed it. It just used to be less broken than this, right? I don't know what's happened to make it this broken. I'm a bit nervous, never mind Kami. Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> so we want to maintain 13,000 or above for now. How are we doing separation wise? Do with a bit more space, so I'm going to slow us down. We'll go down to 250, I think. Yeah, they, what, what problems are you having here? Now, mine just, just, just decided to go straight to the airport for no apparent reason. It's we have it now. Nights night at night. We have it now. Delta fifty five forty two happy will maintain a two seven zero indicator now. Yeah. So yeah, it's already in here. You just have to re download the uh, beta nav data installer. And it should pop up in that bar. Yeah, I've had it a lot. I, I was hoping that the latest version might have fixed it, but no. See, now it says it's going direct to DOT2, but it's quite clearly not, is it? So we'll just go into heading mode and do it that way. So after Vubsa, we can descend <coughs> further to 12,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a shame. It's like one step forward, two steps back at the moment for them, I think. Wow, that's a lot of flying. Is that in the, um, is that, what's that, in a Dash 8 or something like that? At long last, what was that? I missed that. At long last, we are now to land. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so it has it has given us an ILS. Right, let's get down to 12,000. Well, given we can't seem to get any lateral guidance at all out of this plane at the moment, I think if possible we'll opt, we'll opt for the ILS approach. <clears throat> Gemli at 12,000 and that'll do us. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll come down here, go back to Perth, activate the approach phase. That made it do something weird earlier as well, but I'm on heading mode, so it should be all right. And we'll do the approach checklist. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. Ecam status. Checked. Barrow ref. 
three zero two zero set three zero two zero set minimum engine mode selector keep thirteen thousand after that approach Vapsa. checklist complete oh well Vapsa has a, an atter above thirteen thousand but then Don two has an atter above twelve thousand so I kind of assumed we would be all right. Maybe I misinterpreted it. I'm going to slow down further because I can see lights ahead, which I don't like. <laughs> Correct, Danny. It is hilly around Medellin. Yes, it is. Anyway, we seem to have got away with it. <laughs> I thought you said you were getting out of the way, Kami. Medellin traffic, Avianca 031, turning left base, runway 01. Yes. Yeah. traffic, Delta 5542, have you are currently maintaining 220? Not, uh, there's traffic in the front for separation. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, V-Pilot. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. This is beautiful though, no? This is beautiful. To be honest, I don't actually rely on any of the MCDU constraints. We are aborting the approach. Kami, would you mind getting out the way, please? <laughs> Right, let's do flaps, flaps two, two and gear Speed down check. to try and get, create a bit more separation. Flaps gear two. Down. Gear down. Delta 5542 Heavy, we're now heading upwind and awaiting the traffic to land. In traffic, Kavianka 31 turning final, uh, runway 01, 16 nautical miles left to run. Yeah, it's all getting a little bit crowded round here, isn't it? see what happens.
Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. How short came you? I haven't heard anything from you on Unicom. Looks like you're about five nautical miles ahead. Oh no, is that you at the front there? Okay, so there's two aircraft ahead of me. Delta 5542, have you? We're now turning right base and starting the approach again. There seems to be about five nautical miles separation between us. Flaps full. Speed checked. Right, we'll just get maximum drag and uh, get right Flaps down. Full. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right separation-wise. Cabin crew, be this seated. This is very exciting, anyway. So, last chance to enter the competition to win a copy of V Pilot's uh, check scenery for SKRG. And all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is type the answer to the following question in the chat. In which year did SKRG open? Oh, you slept, but you're awake now, Demetrius. That's the main thing. Hello, Riz. Hello, Riz. Welcome to the stream. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto This is brake. not really the few clouds that the Meta promised, is it? Low. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Three percent. Oh, that's something else for me to stress about, Demetrius. Now, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. <laughs> Plug it in. <laughs> So missed approach procedure, <laughs> just in case, is to uh, basically crossing the threshold, make an immediate right turn to Marinilla VOR, Marinilla, sorry, VOR, and then enter a left hold. But we might, oh, I think we're going to be all right, I think. <laughs> it's true, it's true, Andres. Few clouds will constantly yeah, following my plane, following my plane. I hope so. I'll do my best. Oh, look at that! Perfect visibility. Eddie in traffic, Avianca three one five mile final runway zero one. Oh, it's cleared up. It's like a mirage, isn't it? I'm not the De Jonathan. I'm I'm flying on Vatsim, not on multiplayer. Yeah, we can have a replay. Thank you for reminding me. I thought I'd already checked the cabin, but apparently not. One thousand cabin crew. Checked. Spectacular, isn't it? It really is. Four 
紅白嘅。Three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. 70 knots. Spoilers. Reverse grip. Decel. Welcome to Medellin, Jose Maria Cordoba, Rio Negro. Honestly, don't know whether I should have been saying Rio Negro or Medellin. Probably Rio Negro. <laughs> Little bit floaty, but also quite buttery. <laughs> right, we'll park up, we'll have a look around, and then we'll have a replay. Medellin traffic, Gavianca 3 1, clear of runway. Two of you are down already. I didn't know that. I thought it was only one of you. Excellent news. Right, let's just get some stuff sorted out. Weather radar off, predictive wind shear system off. Spoiler, uh, spoilers. Strobes off. Nose light is set to taxi. We'll start the APU. Wrong button. Oh, that was close. I'm glad. I'm glad I got out of your way in time. <laughs> so you, uh, you're supposed to use manual braking when you hit about 70 knots. They shouldn't. You shouldn't still be using auto brake down to 10 knots. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Right. After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. I'm going to park in here. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. It's all right, Edwin. We're going to do a uh, Taxi replay. Off. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you for the welcome. <laughs> So what we'll do, we'll park up, um, we'll have a look around the airport and then we'll start the engines up again and we'll have the replay. I think that, oh, having done the giveaway, of course. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll definitely shut down the engines because that is the, uh, that's exactly when I said we'd do the giveaway in the uh, description. So we'll do that and then we'll start them up again. It's um, FS2 Crew Flight Crew A320 Finbar. Parking brake set, let's just check our positioning. Yeah, close enough. Uh, <laughs> APU is online, we'll turn on the APU bleed, we'll turn off the engines. Close the stupid logbook thing, turn off the beacon, turn off the seatbelt sign, turn off the fuel pumps, do the parking checklist, then we'll do the giveaway, which is very parking exciting. Parking checklist, APU bleed. Estril, that's all right. Welcome on. back. Engines. Oh, we ends on his way. Seat awesome. belts. Off. Exterior lights. Set. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Consider heavy rain. Okay, okay. So this is the exciting time. I will catch up with all your chat while we're watching the replay. But for now, it's time to do the giveaway. Here's Simon taxiing in. What a view to win a prize to. 
So, uh, final chance, final half a minute. For those of you who have just arrived, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a copy of Jose Maria Cordova uh, International Airport by V Pilot for Microsoft Flight Simulator, answer the following question in the chat. In which year did the airport open? In which year did the airport open? Your Duarte, right, I did not know that. <laughs> well, welcome, Duarte. So, last chance. Last chance. And uh, while I get up the uh, Nightbot thingy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So, there are two copies to be won. Each of the winners must email me their Sim Market registered email address to philbertflies at gmail.com or drop me a Discord message. And you have to do that within 24 hours of this draw. Otherwise, I'll be giving your copy away to someone random on my Discord server. So here we go. Here we go. The first winner is... It's Simon, who flew with us all the way here. <laughs> Congratulations, Simon. Uh, I will, well, I'm sure you will be in touch with me on Discord or by email, whichever works for you. I'm very pleased you won. And the second winner is... It's Matt. Matt, you have also won a copy. So if you send me your email address, uh, as I say, that's registered on Sim Market, to uh, philbertflies at gmail.com then I'll get that passed on to um, the developer vpilot and, uh, and we'll get that copy added to your account. So well done to both of you. But for now let us have a little nosy around the airport. So as you can see it's a sort of uh, semi-circular shaped building with quite an interesting round glass canopy, which I've never seen anything quite like anywhere else in the world. Nice bit of glass tinting as well. And this is what the front of the airport looks like. Got a little bit of uh, custom modeled signage down here. We'll take a little look at that. What does that say? Franco-Colombian Corporation. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> Next Colombian airport should be a challenging one like SKPS. Okay. Okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, me too, Simon. Me too. Me too. But it went all right. I didn't, I mean, I didn't see your landing, but it, you got down okay, I see. And anyway, you got a treat at the end. <laughs> Congrats on uh, winning. So there we have it. There we have it. This is, uh, this is Medellin Airport, um, Jose Maria Cordoba, Rio Negro. All of, it's all of those things, I think. <laughs> Some kind of maintenance area over here, Avianca hangars. So this is available to buy, to, if you weren't lucky enough to win, this is also available to buy. Um, there's a link to the Sim Market page in the video description down below. And it's also available in the marketplace, which I was not aware of. I think it's 15 euros on Sim Market. So pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. And um, look at the surrounding area. Uh, you've got the sun breaking through here. Other areas are dark because of the cloud. It's just, it's very, very atmospheric right now. Um, oh, good bit of fencing as well. We should have a little look. Oh, I'm really pleased, Matt. I'm really pleased. It's, it's nice to know that it went to someone who, uh, who, who appreciates the city. Yeah, nice bit of fencing there. <laughs> And we've got some more detail over on the other side, I think, have we? Or maybe not. Maybe this isn't part of the scenery. I'm not entirely sure. You had to abort the first approach because someone was right in front of you. You are way too fast on your second try. Touched down about 10 seconds. <laughs> I was very conscious that you were very close behind. 
uh, hence me getting out of the way. But yeah, I had two people ahead of us. Yeah, it was. It was quite tight. It was quite. It's the sort of sort of approach you could have done with ATC online to help manage the separation. Across the runway is the military area, and to the right of the passenger terminal is the cargo area, which we modelled as well. Okay, so this is the military area. We'll have a quick quick nose around here. He did, yeah, he did what he usually does, just accelerated past everyone and then worried them all on approach by being right in front of them all of a sudden. In Rio Negro, sometimes the overcast meta is only over the tower. Really? It's that, it's that localised? Amazing. Well, there you are. So MSFS Live Weather is not playing up. It can actually be like that. It's good to know. Oh, that is good, Simon. Oh, yes. Got a, got a little helicopter model here. Nice. Some sort of advertising at the back. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Right, let's go and have a quick look at the cargo area. And then we'll have a replay. And maybe, with a bit of luck, we'll be able to reconnect in time to see Ian's landing. We'll have a look at where he's at. If he's not too far, we'll stay and watch. Uh, um. Yeah, my ILS worked as well. Colombian Air Force hangar. Right. Oh, this looks nice as well. All the little airline signs up here. Bit of ground clutter as well. Nice. Nice. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look at Volanta and we'll see, we'll make, a, we'll make a call on whether to wait for Ian or do the replay. We'll do the replay, he's still a little way off. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Scott? So I'm going to disconnect from Vatsim and I'm going to restart the engines. Oh, Simon, thank you. Thank you once again. Another very entertaining. You're very welcome. Thank you for flying along. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased you're enjoying them. Uh, right. Now, we got the APU on still? Yes, we have. We'll turn the fuel pumps back on. We'll turn the beacon light back on. And we'll start the engines. We're going to do them both together. We're not overly worried about realism at this point because we're about to make the aeroplane teleport back onto a short final so you know it's all relative <laughs> can we get that jetway to disconnect yes we can oh it's coming back <laughs> I clicked it twice 160 FPM is not too bad after all at all. No, that's really good. I don't know what... Oh, I should probably have a look at mine, actually. Let's review the flight. Yeah, it's quite a lot better than me, Simon. Quite a lot better than me. 268 here. Still, it felt buttery. That's the main thing. If the, well, so it will replay with the engines off, but it won't. Um, it can't start them again for the replay, so it's best to have them started. I think everything else it can do. Right, there we are. They're both started now. Uh, oh, I'm still recording. Stop. Replay. Here we are. I think we'll start off with this sort of a view and actually follow it in. And in the meantime, I'll try and catch up with some of the chat that I've missed.
Good job, B pilot for the scenery. Absolutely, absolutely. Beautiful, it is. Bravo, thank you, night at night. Thank you, butter, Ben, thank you. Yes, yes, bang on, Rayland. This is the stuff I really come back to read. Not interested in the rest of it. <laughs> Just back for the compliments. Thank you, Tommy. You will, Steve. You will have to fly here. Okay, I think I think that's most of it caught up with. I didn't catch bits and bobs during the taxi in. The red car is mine. Is it is it actually fly simulations? Are you the French partner by chance? That was pretty good. Who's interested in FPM? Uh, so the replay is done using the um, flight recorder mod, which uh, is linked to in the video description. Thank you, Simon. I think so. Let's go back and have have it once again from the uh, this view. See what it would have felt like to be a passenger. Too low terrain. Uh. Too low terrain. Wait, wait. Too low terrain. Wait, we're not having this ruining Too the magic. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Right, let's go back a little. Here we are. Yeah, it can work both ways. It is overrated. It's a very poor measure of a good landing. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is. It does look... Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's see how Ian's getting on. Oh, why have I lost... Oh, I closed my volante, didn't I? I'll look on uh, the pilot. Okay, so Ian is at 10,000 feet or just a bit more, so I think what we'll do is we'll watch the taxi in and then we'll get set up to watch him arrive, reconnect to Van Sim. <laughs> yeah, that was not what it would have been like for a pessimist. <laughs> no, uh, so I'm not, I don't really want to show my uh, face um, on camera, but what I've said I will do is I will do it when I get to a million subscribers or a million pounds of donations, which is a fair way off. It's, it, it's, um, it causes um, a lot of controversy. I'd say it's about 50-50 on my channel, people who think that my face in the corner would be a good thing versus those who think it would be a bad thing. Personally, I don't get the appeal. Oh, why were you taxiing so slowly, Kobe? A little bit, Arjun, a little bit. But you will get to see Ian's landing, so all is not lost. Okay, this is where 
I stopped to finish my after landing checklist. Uh, we'll bring it up to the present time. Resume. And done. Our engines are still at full throttle, which is a shame. <laughs> we'll turn them off and then we'll reconnect to that sim. <laughs> Stupid logbook thing again. Uh, connect, there we are. Right, now let's get down to the end of the runway to watch you in. The reality is I just think I'd feel really self-conscious having people constantly watch me. I think you'd get a worse quality stream if I knew I was being looked at on a camera. Right, here we are. Settle in. Settle in. And uh, see how he's doing. Are we still a fair way off, actually? Is it 10,359 feet, doing 291 knots. Oh, there's a departure from here as well. Who's going off? Oh, no, that's the other airport, is it? Yeah, someone's leaving from the other airport. Interesting. Uh, which is the next flight? So, uh... <laughs> exactly, one million subscribers. Uh, next flight I'm going to be flying tomorrow. I'm going to be flying in the CJ4 from Oxford Airport down to, um, where did I say? Totally forgotten, somewhere in Switzerland. Samadan, Samadan in Switzerland. And that'll be at 1200 Zulu. question is, how long do we all want to wait for Ian? I want to see him land, so I'm going to sit here until he gets here. <laughs> but I don't know if the rest of you want to or not. Well, it's up to you. We'll keep the stream going. Those of you who want to stay and chat a bit, stay and chat a bit. Those of you who don't, thank you very much for coming, and uh, I hope to see you on another one. Yeah, me too, Tom. What's gone on with your work then? Why has it got so much busier? Okay, so Ian is, is very close to the airport at the moment. He's over the other side at the moment. Oh, you're back, Matt. Hello. <laughs> Good night, Steve. Yeah, no worries at all. It's nice to have you back too, and uh, I'll see you hopefully hopefully tomorrow. If not, uh, on another flight soon. Oh, you'll be in Discord, won't you, if not? It's true, he is a bit low. He is a bit low, isn't he? Just pretty busy and a bit stretched, so having to work a lot more. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am, Scott, I am. I'm, I'm doubting people's commitment to the cause. Which is perhaps unfair, because there's still quite a lot of you here. Still 42 of you watching an empty runway, so... It's and we've just got another subscriber, so it's all worth it. Uh, Jim, thank you for the sub. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a it's a beautiful view. It's nice to have you can hear the birds singing, watching the clouds roll about. 
Roll about, roll in and roll, I don't know what. Whatever clouds do, move through the sky. <laughs> it's good to unwind after a stressful approach. VVC301. Uh, yes, that's correct. That is that is who we're waiting for. And he's somewhere up here at the moment. Looks like a school line on the left. It does, yeah. Well, we had quite a lot of rain on the on the final, actually. You have a question. Why did you need to move when I was flying kind of slow, but Delta was at cruise speed at downwind type? Delta's GS was 300 while yours was 180. I, I don't I don't know, Kami. You must have downloaded it right before you updated a small. Oh really? What's what's changed? What's changed, Diego? Oh, that made me jump, that thunder. Ian's plane doesn't... Ah, he's gone round. Okay, so he's coming round this way now. I wish there was a smoother way of looking at other flights on Vatsim. Yes, oh, yes, I am. Hmm, still showing at ten thousand feet. What's the altitude of this airport again? I've forgotten. Six, about seven thousand. Okay, okay, that's all right. I mean, yeah, it's possibly a little bit, a uh, little bit low, but he's still flying, and that's the main thing. I'm going to go and have a little look over past this fence. These approach lights are cool, aren't they, on the stalks? Yeah, what was the what was the update that uh, I missed out on? Yeah, so QFE, I uh, I've never seen it used on a commercial flight, but I'm sure it is. Tends to be at smaller airports, though, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's Ian. Ian? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, rainbows! Rainbows! There's a reward for those of you who stuck around. Very pretty. Feels like a picnic at the side of an active runway. It does. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought I thought you meant Q uh, QFE. Q&A is when you have SPS set for landing if the altimeter subscale doesn't go low enough. Ah, right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, poor Ian. It's a lot of pressure on him. I hope he's stopped watching the stream and is just concentrating on this flight and doesn't know that we're all sitting here waiting for him. 
<laughs> and I hope he gets it down. Is the Fiberware A32NX updated for the latest update from MFSF, uh, MSFS? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried the stable. I think it has been updated. I think. Um, but yeah, as you saw today, there are a lot of problems with the dev build at the moment. Jetway height, runway length was shortened a few feet to match the real size. The second floor vehicle ramp was added where the passengers departing a drive. Oh, okay, okay. I will, I will update it before I fly from here again. <laughs> oh, you are watching. <laughs> that was a nice little flyby. I quite enjoyed it. And it got. we wouldn't have seen the rainbows were it not for you. Are you are you coming back around? What's uh, what's your well? Don't type. Don't type. Actually, fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Robbie was a wise man. Ooh, there's a lot of heliports shown in uh, Medellin. A lot of hospital heliports. I don't suppose they're in the sim. We need some heliports, though. V-Pilot, do you fancy modelling Medellin City and doing all the heliports? Sorry, I've missed more chat, haven't I? I've got no excuse just waiting here. Um, thanks for the streaming. Keep flying, Colombia. Have more beautiful cities and airports. Recommend San Andres Island, Pasto, and Bucaramanga. Ah, oh, I'm going to make a little screenshot of that and add it to my notes. If you're still here, Fly Simulations, thank you very much for the for being here, and uh, thank you for the tips. I do think I need to get the pipe around and do some flying around here. Yeah, it's a pity I missed the rest of your uh, landings. I'm sorry about that. Okay, Ian appears to be turning final again, I think. So he's making a right hand turn. So he'll be coming from over here somewhere. Shout if you can see him. Are you really? Ah, there we are. So that whoever was saying it's a good job Greg's doesn't do it or I'd be fat. There is evidence now that Greg's does do it. Jamie, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, flying with us. I'll see you soon. This looks like it might be all right, Ian. This looks this looks like it could be a winner. I know it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This could be the best landing we've ever witnessed. Well, I hope you'll come back again, uh, Fly Simulations. It's good to have you along. Sim Travel enjoyed the stream. Do you know when the new FS2 Crew Flight Crew A32NX will come? No, I don't. I don't know what's happened with that. It was very, very close to release. And then I haven't heard anything about it for a few weeks, unfortunately. I'm sure it will come though. Oh, he's beautifully lined up. He's on final. This is definitely going to have been worth the wait. If you've got a couple more minutes in you before bed, stick around. Oh, there we are. Scott knows stuff. <laughs> 
Thanks, Scott. Me too. Me too. It's not often you see... Well, I haven't seen many rainbows in The Sim. But when you do, they're beautiful. I don't want to look around too much because then we'll miss the landing after all that. I think I'd probably better get the zone. I feel the pressure to film this properly now. I think we'd better get this drone speeded up so we can uh, fly along the runway if necessary. Here he is, here he is. Right, everyone, everyone keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> well, welcome Ian. That sim often doesn't show the landings properly. There's always a bit of bouncing. VivaColumbia.co I don't think I've ever seen this livery before. That is exciting, yeah. I can't wait. Oh, welcome back, Austin. We are just watching Ian landing. He's made it down. Is it a tourist flight? I think maybe it looks a bit like a tourist flight. Oh, he's off to the military apron. <laughs> Going to hand himself in. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, Austin. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Not embarrassing at all, Ian. You got here. You got here despite plane problems. Brilliant. Well, let's go back over to the main terminal, have one last look at it. Don't forget to check out this product on the uh, Marketplace and on simmarket.com if you were not one of the two lucky winners. Uh, congratulations again to those. Uh, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, at, uh, at 1200 Zulu, 1300 UK time, when we'll be flying the CJ4 from um, Oxford to Samadan. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.